Hey everybody, welcome on in, welcome to our wonderful uh, Friday stream, our climactic end of the week stream, uh, which is this, this will actually be the final, the final Pokemon Friday stream until the end of Spooktober, until November, so I'd really like to try, I know we're, we're at, I believe we're at the Elite Four, um, or at least we're close to the Elite Four, um, um, so I'd like to finish this playthrough before Spooktober starts. Hey, Panda, how you doing, my friend? Oh, Type Orange, thank you so much for the lurk. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday, Type Orange. And how are you today, Panda? How is your day treating you? Spooktober. Yes, we'll be playing um, almost exclusively horror games for the, for the entirety of the month of October to celebrate my favorite genre. I mean, I am I am a horror writer. I have published a, a collection of horror short stories, so um, I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> I'm a little bit biased when it comes to the horror genre. So we'll be playing a ton of stuff. Uh, the first stream that's on the schedule for Spooktober, uh, which is the next next Friday stream, since it's October first, is going to be the first game we're going to start playing is uh, Silent Hill Two, uh, which unfortunately I'm going to have to play the remaster. They came out with an HD remaster a while back on the on the 360, and I know it's it's inferior to the to the original versions. There was something the whole code was lost from the original game, so they had to remake it from the ground up, and they fucked up some things. So um, I know it's the inferior version, but it doesn't seem like they've re-released Silent Hill 2 for like PC or anything else that would be easier to play on, with the exception of emulating it. And I'd rather not do that for because that would be uh, a PS2 slash Xbox game, um, and emulation gets more tricky once you get to that. So I'm just going to play the, the HD remaster of it. Um, oh, Silent Hill 2 is fan. Most folks seem to, to favor Silent Hill 2 over all the other Silent, Silent Hill games. I really like Silent Hill 3. That's my personal favorite. Um, I don't have a copy of Silent Hill 1, or we'd probably just start with the first one. But unfortunately, I don't have a copy and I'm not sure how that's a PS1 game. I'm not sure how emulation works for PS1 games. So um, we're just going to start with the second one. So yeah, next Friday will be the start of Spooktober. So a week today, we'll have the new stream loot deck. Um, Lily is working on the emotes. Lily showed me drawings of the emotes. And oh my god, they look so good. I'm so excited for them to, to be out and have folks able to start using them for the month of October. Um, next Saturday, not tomorrow Saturday, but next Saturday will be the 12 hour kickoff party for Spooktober. So it'll be a 12 hour stream where we're gonna play horror games, horror S games. We're gonna play some Phasmo. Uh, if folks wanna play Dead by Daylight, we'll play some Dead by Daylight. It'll be just a 12 hour stream of us playing all kinds of cool stuff. So um, there's that to look for. There's a bunch of really cool stuff coming up to be completely honest. So. I am going to switch over. We're going to play some Pokemon. Because I do want to try and see... I know we're going to have to grind a little bit against the Elite Four. Because we are not ready to fight the Elite Four yet. Uh, and it would appear... It would appear that we are in Victory Road. Oh, you know, we went back to see who the... Who the Moltres was. And somebody told me... I, somebody used a card that I couldn't... I couldn't use escape ropes, so we couldn't leave. Do, did I buy an escape rope, though? I did not buy an escape rope, so we just gotta we gotta find our way out of here the old-fashioned way. Reminds you of the Pokemon Party. What's the Pokemon Party, Panda? Did everything seal itself. Wait. Did everything seal itself back off again? If I fuck up, do I have to do the whole thing? Like, if I come back, do I have to do all the puzzles? Oh, in the Discord! Oh, hell yeah! We're gonna do more of those types of... It's a wild Bulbasaur, okay. Uh, and this is a, a, a Pokemon Red randomized playthrough, so we're gonna see a lot of weird stuff. We're, uh, we're gonna do more stuff. In fact, I'm gonna try and do at least one watch party a week over throughout Spooktober for various horror movies or horror-related stuff. So, we're, I'm going to try and do some stuff like that throughout the month of October, too. 
It's, uh, when I stream seven days a week, it's kind of tough to to fit in watch parties on Discord also, because I'm usually streaming when I would have a watch party. It'd be almost easier to just to just let everybody die and we'll end up at the Poke Center. I don't think that's going to happen, though. But yeah, we're, we're definitely going to do more cool stuff like that, because, like, unfortunately, you can't do stuff like that on Twitch. I think you could watch, you could do watch parties for, I don't know why the light seems really bright today. Um, I, I think we can do watch parties for stuff that's on Amazon Prime, because Twitch and Amazon Prime are affiliated, like, they, they're owned by the same parent company. Well, Twitch is owned by, by Amazon. Um... So I think if something's on Twitch Prime, you can do a Prime Watch Party. This isn't the worst thing, though, because we're definitely not ready for the Elite Four. I was planning on grinding against the Elite Four. Because you can just keep fighting them and getting experience and going back. This, this is not a Nuzlocke, this is just a, a regular old randomized playthrough. And who knows? Who knows what the Elite Four is going to have? Because it's randomized. They could... One of them could have a whole team of Caterpie, for all I know. So maybe it won't go that poorly. The reason the reason the Elite Four is as hard as they are is because they have such a, a crack team of Pokemon that work really well together. Oh, it is Sand Slash. Sand Slash. Freaking love Sand Slash. He's so derpy though. They're all so derpy in Gen One. I can get... Oh, that's right. You have to do it from the menu in Gen 1. Speaking of Caterpie, there's a Caterpie in the chat! A little... A little, a little Caterpoo. I'm not a big fan of Caterpoo, but... I know a lot of people like Caterpoo. A little Caterpoo. Oh, you might need to, you might need to buy some. I just want to leave at this point. Like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> Victory Road is such a pain in the ass. If I can even get to the entrance, I'll be able to. Oh fuck! Don't tell me he's a. I don't know if I battled everyone. Right, we've been to the Elite Four, so we can fly there if I can make it to the exit. We came back to see who Moltres was going to be. Which I'm pretty sure Moltres was some something dumb. I think it was like a Zubat or something. It was real disappointing. These guys aren't even that strong. They're not even that strong. Oh, we've got no more PP. My PP is gone. How will I use Blizzard without PP? My PP. It's, it's Saturday for you, isn't it, Panda? Oh, come on, is this not the egg? Fuck me. I just want to get out of here. 
We went in a whole circle. An entire circle. Maybe we're not, maybe we're not beating our, our red, our randomized red playthrough, because maybe I'm going to be stuck in Victory Road for the next three hours. Pokemon in here only at level 26. They should be a lot higher, I think. Well, at least Wings is getting some levels. Uh, I feel like these are pretty solid. I don't think I'm going to learn Slam. I could have gotten rid of Rap, but Rap seems really broken in Gen 1. everyone to go down. <laughs> Just so to warp us back. Oh, we've still got, yeah, Mew's not gonna go down. God damn it. <laughs> no, Mew, come on! Come on, use an actual move! Oh. Well, maybe Mew will go down. Come on, Scooby Mew! We should have just said fuck it, and we should have never gone back. Why is he keep using conversion? Stop. Alright, come, come on, Taurus. Knock us out. I'm really hoping for everyone to just get all knocked out. <laughs> I don't I don't think I have dig. I don't believe I do. I had it I have it on a Pokemon that's in the in the box. How you doing, Lord Tongo? We we had someone redeem a card last week when we were playing Pokemon or two weeks ago, whenever we played Pokemon the last time. We used this thing called Stream Loot. 
that has different cards that you can you can play to mess with the stream. And I was gonna buy an escape rope, and then somebody played a card for no escape rope, so I've ended up trapped in here. Not trapped. I, I can I can get out, but it's just a pain in the butt. It's the bootleg Eevee. This little freaking bootleg Eevee. Doesn't look like Eevee. And again, none of the Pokemon <laughs> look like anything in Gen 1. They all look so derpy. This should, I think this should open the way to get somewhere. Go back. All the way over here. I also don't have any repels, which is a, which is a problem. the world's strongest Psyduck. Not really. Well, I guess it's not a bad thing. We're getting some experience. I don't think we're, we're a high enough level for the Elite Four yet, so... me out, lady. Go for it. Cool trainer? Oh, you'd be real cool if you just, uh, knock out the rest of my Pokemon, okay? I don't think it's gonna happen, though. We're pretty, we're pretty buff. Swiggle's pretty buff right now. Thunder Wave, that's not gonna do any damage. Does this Dragonair not have any attack power? Oh, lick a tongue. Licky tongue. Look at him. <laughs> I always forget that lick a tongue is a thing. Oh, come on. Use, use moves that are going to actually do damage. No, freaking <laughs> like time. Vaporeon! I love Vaporeon. Oh my god, I hate... I hate the beeping. 
All right, yeah, Swiggle, go down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Maybe there's a chance. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> El Diablo is up next. <laughs> Whoa, this random trainer has a hyper potion. Okay. I see you, cool trainer. Alright, oh, maybe, maybe it's gonna happen. You get sent back to the Elite Four. And gamer, how you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm trying to get back to the Elite Four. I'm a little bit lost in Victory Road. I'm I'm half hoping that that someone just offs me so that I get teleported back, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Although it might, we're down to our last two Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, El Diablo. Who's left? Miracle! Oh, Miracle's our level 42 Charizard. <laughs> I forgot about that. When we caught a, like, level 40 Charmander in the... in in the the Pokemon Mansion. Doctor, so fucking sexy! How you doing, my friend? Once there was a boy named Red whose daddy went out for a pack of smokes but never came home. Red then took a fire lizard in search of his father. Eventually, getting getting found. He found him in Celadon City, gambling money and hanging out with hookers. Then Red became champion. I'll return tomorrow with more little-known Pokemon facts. Oh, Doctor's so fucking sexy. I am. I'm really looking forward to those Pokemon facts. I'm really excited to see what other Pokemon facts you have about the misadventures of Red and his, his gambling-slash-hooker-addicted father. I'm real excited. <laughs> Shuckle and chat. Push that shit down. What's gonna happen first? Are we gonna make it out of here? Or are we gonna... Are, are we gonna... Is somebody gonna give us the sweet, merciful death that we, <laughs> that we need to make it back to the Poke Center? Let's go. <laughs> oh no, poor Chansey! <laughs> I would feel so bad for Chansey if that were the case. That would be horrible. It just never comes out. <laughs> Chansey's in continual agonizing pain trying to give birth to that egg. It's not this way. It's the other way. Oh, look at this little Oddish. This is level 42 Oddish. It's the world's strongest Oddish. <laughs> there's some there's some really messed up Pokédex entries. I love them. I love them so much. Alright. Oh, you just push it right over there. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's so perfect. Um, hey, Wings, I know you're unconscious. But I'm gonna need you to, like, roll your unconscious body against this boulder and push it onto the switch, okay? I believe in you. Oh, an Abra. Goodbye! Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Dragonite just wants to sleep, but I can't let it, because we need to move this boulder. Oh, oh, Charlie Sheen's deformed penis. Oh. I'm, I'm not surprised. I, I'm not surprised that it was last seen <laughs> with Red's dad hanging out. Oh, we made it! This is it! We did it! We escaped! Our boy, our boy Shuckle, what are you doing, Shuckle? <laughs> Get back in the Charlie Sheen's pants. <laughs> Just get back in there. We don't need to see that, Shuckle. Alright, let's heal up. We made it! Now, now we're ready to fight the Elite Four. We're not, not really, but like level-wise, we're not ready to fight the Elite Four. Uh, what do I have item-wise? I got one Hyper Potion, one Full Restore, one Max Revive. Um, I need a lot of stuff. But I won't, I won't start using it until we start getting closer to winning. I'm gonna buy... Oh. These are so expensive! Alright, seven revives. Uh... Holy... Holy hamburgers! Alright, like... Two... I wanna try and use as much money as possible, because... We'll... We'll lose money... Every time we lose to the Elite Four. But if we manage to take down one or two of them on the way, while we're grinding, we'll, uh, we'll get more money. It's like an endless, an endless money loop. Yeah, hell yeah, Raymaker, it's Elite Four time. And who knows? Who knows what these Elite Four are going to have in store for us? They could have an entire team of Caterpie. I would be okay with that. I'd be very okay if they had a whole team of Caterpie. Also, Raymaker, how are you doing, my friend? How's your day treating you? I don't still have the, the no-spoiler thing on, do I? Because I think I had that on last night. Let me make sure I don't have that on. Okay, I turned it off. Because that'd be real dumb while we're playing Pokemon. I've played this game so many- Malcolm! Oh, Malcolm! Everybody, everybody's favorite member of the Elite Four, Malcolm. I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for asking, Rainmaker. Oh, uh, Venomoth. Uh, really low level. It's definitely a problem. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's randomized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is our uh, this is our randomized playthrough. So they could have like literally anything. We uh, we did a, a vanilla blue playthrough a couple months ago, and we conquered the elite four. And then once we finish this playthrough, starting in November, we're gonna be doing a completion run of Pokemon Yellow to fill out our Pokédex as much as I can. We're gonna die. Oh, maybe not. I don't even know if they're going to stay consistent between runs. The whole idea right now is to just grind for some levels. But I don't even know if they're going to stay consistent. It's a Zapdos. Or not a Zapdos, a Jolteon. Ugh. I guess, I guess Jolteon could learn Pit Missile. That would make sense. I was about to question why it had Pin Missile, because I didn't I didn't randomize movesets, but technically Jolteon could learn Pin Missile. Oof. Uh oh, it's a flying attack.
Oh, come on, Malcolm. Oh, only a super potion? Wait, did, did it randomize what items they have? It may have randomized what I, because I'm pretty sure they usually have a full restore. Oh, Spiro. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll switch. El Diablo. Go get him, El Diablo. This little Spiro. Well, you know, it is a level 54 Spiro. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Spiro. I guess it doesn't matter if there's... Like, 20 levels different when it comes to a Zapdos versus a Spiro. Uh, Scyther... Uh, Scyther's Flying Bug, I believe. The thing that's going to make this easier is the fact that the regular team... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. The regular teams for the Elite Four are specially designed to be a pain in the ass. These randomized teams are not necessarily going to be as much of a pain in the ass. Electrode! Uh, oh, why do I have a feeling Electrode's going to explode? Um, Swiggle's going to be weak, but Swiggle also has Earthquake. So if we can get Earthquake off, we might be in good shape. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so close. Yeah, they only have Super Potion. I'm pretty sure they normally have full restores. They just keep using super potions. It must have randomized what item they have. That's crazy. <laughs> Goodbye, Electrode. And Malcolm, Malcolm of the Elite Four. My favorite member of the Elite Four. Good old Malcolm. We defeated Malcolm. Malcolm, you sure look a lot like Lorelei. But hey, who am I to question whether you're actually Malcolm or not? That's not for me to decide. Uh, I'm not gonna heal anyone. We're gonna we're gonna have to do a couple. The the all the trainer classes and the trainer names are randomized, so it it just randomly reassigns them another class in the game. So they're all gonna have weird names. Oh, Sonia! Malcolm and Sonia! <laughs> My favorite- Oh! I know all about Sonia's level 53 Pidgey. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't- I don't know that it's gonna matter. <laughs> Solar Beam. Solar Beam this Pidgey to death. Hey, JB, how you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. How's your day treating you, JB? It's always so good to see you. Hard to even tell what Ivysaur is from behind. That's an Ivysaur. <laughs> that does not look like an Ivysaur. That looks like just a, a hot pile of garbage. Goodbye, Pidgey. Level 53 Pidgey. 
Sony is about to use <gasps> our box actually. Uh, I don't know if I have anything special. Well, Swiggle can probably handle it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Arbok. Persian. Uh it's it's all gone. We're we're too low level. We're we're grinding against the Elite Four for for levels. So I'm not I'm not gonna waste I'm not gonna waste any healing items until we're a couple runs in and we've got a couple more levels on us. Some of my team are, is still in the 30s, but somehow we're, we're actually we're actually not doing terrible. It's about to use my choke. Ah. Uh... Goodbye, Machoke. <laughs> I guess levels don't matter when you have a Mew. A Butterfree? Sure. I don't know if that's gonna matter. Oh, maybe it mattered. No, come on! Not like this! Not like this! Don't do this to me. Oh, I forgot we have wings. I forgot all about our Dragonite. Oh! Well, goodbye, Dragonite. Oh, never mind. No, stop! Alright, oh. Cool. Stop freaking putting me to sleep. Get us some solid XP. Nobody leveled up. Sonia, Sonia, what are you doing? Uh, I'm actually I'm half tempted to heal because we're actually not doing terrible. I didn't I didn't prepare for the chance that we may actually win immediately. Did, have I been getting money for beating? The other members. Oh yeah, I have a shitload of money again. All right, I'm gonna heal. Wait, what was what was the saddest? Oh, the 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 bye bye Butterfree episode of the anime. I feel that that was a really sad episode. I may, I may actually be trying to win now. I don't I don't have a plan in mind for if we actually beat the Elite Four on the first try. Alright. The others can stay half dead. Are you Agatha? I don't believe you. I don't think you are Agatha. I think you're lying to me. I think you're somebody else. Reveal your true identity, Agatha. What is your real name? Tell me your real name. Landon! Agatha, how could you lie to me like this? Oh, oh, Agatha still is ghastly. <laughs> oh, huh. That's not good. Huh.
Come on, I'm I'm already Wasn't I already confused? I'm confused, I'm asleep. Please leave me alone. Come on, wake up, Swiggle. Alright, we're switching. I'm confused enough in my daily life. I don't want to be any more confused. I'm already confused every day. I wake up, I'm confused. I go to sleep, I'm confused. I eat breakfast, I'm confused. Come on, Ghastly. Swiggle gained experience points. About to use. Spiro! <gasps> Furry Lolitas, how you doing, my friend? I saw you on I saw you on Final Fantasy Online today. I saw you on Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, I didn't see you, but I saw that you logged in, because I'm in the, the free company. Um, Steve's free company. Ah, so I can be confused and be asleep. I didn't I didn't see who was getting sent out. I wasn't paying attention. Good morning, Furry Lolitas. How are you today? Hmm. I should have switched. Everyone's freaking asleep. There we go. Yeah, wake up. Oh, no, you're getting ready for work. I'm sorry to hear that, Furry Lolitas. I hope you have a quick and painless day at work today. Goodbye. Oh, oh. hold on. Fully paralyzed. Fully paralyzed. Goodbye, level 50 something Spiro. Swiggle! Oh fuck, Swiggle's asleep too. Oh, there we go. That was weird. The health bar went down and then back up and then down again. Let's try to see what does more. The surf is pretty meaty too. Oh, there! Oh, there! That was not. Oh, that was a crit. Yeah, yeah, send out a Pidgey. This may actually be really easy. <laughs> I was waiting for one of them to have like a Mewtwo or something. Goodbye, Pidgey! Lance about to use. <gasps> Primeape! Anything but Primeape! JK. Bye, Primate. <laughs> Maybe our team's just really OP. <laughs> Thanks, Landon. Oh, hell yeah, free stream loot pack. You got it, Furry Lolitas. Let me get you a stream loot pack. Stream loot coming at ya. Here we go, Furry Lolitas. Free stream loot pack, and we are one week away from the Spooktober deck of the stream loot packs. We're one week away from Spooktober. I'm so excited to play some horror games.
I, guess, I mean, I guess we're I guess we're trying to win at this point. I don't know. <laughs> there's there's actually a good chance we may win. Uh, I don't have a lot of healing items left. Hello, Lance. But are you really Lance? Or are you like Ebert? Let's take bets on what Lance's name is going to be. He's going to be Ebert. I don't know if Ebert's an actual trainer in the game, but that's my guess. Ebert of the of the Elite Four. Look at him. He's a fucking anime guy. Scott! <laughs> Scott wants to play. Just Scott, you know. Scott works down at the hardware store. <laughs> so he's a really nice guy. He's got, a, he's got like six kids. Uh... <laughs> His wife's going to school to be a, a cosmetologist. You know, Scott. Scott is Caterpie. His little 58 Caterpie. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that Caterpie. Oh, it's, oh yeah. The Elite Four is really stepping up their game with their, their level 58 Caterpie that knows Tackle. <laughs> Goodbye, Caterpie. <laughs> This is the funniest shit. <laughs> oh, Ninetales! Oh, Ninetales this is actually potentially formidable. <laughs> I roasted that Caterpie, too. That Caterpie is just straight up dead. <laughs> oh, hold on. This is, this is the thing that the AI just does not work with randomized playthroughs in Gen 1. Because I think the AI is programmed to use specific moves, and when they have randomized move they, moves, they use the most useless moves constantly. <gasps> Swiggle grew to level 52! Scott's about to use Charmeleon! You didn't, you didn't feel like... Scott, you didn't, you didn't feel like evolving your Charmeleon into a Charizard by level 56? <laughs> gonna prove why that's a horrible mistake on your part. I mean, he's kind of, he's kind of got a dragon. Charmeleon's kind of a dragon. Let's use Psyduck! Scott, the, uh, Scott of the Elite Four is about to have the most useless team possible. This is about to be the easiest victory we've had of the Elite Four so far. Yeah, it's paralyzed. Ooh. Alright. Alright, Psyduck, I see you. I see you. Getting five hits. Alright. Oh, he's got hyper potions. I wonder if I've ever seen a Psyduck with Hydro Pump. Oh. Goodbye. That's what I get for that's what I get for shit talking. than we have potions at this point. So I get I was talking shit. I was talking shit on Scott. This is what happens. Use Krabby. Uh Revenge of the Caterpie. <laughs> the Caterpie was to get us to let our let, let down our defenses. And then he's like, nah, I got a level 62 Krabby waiting in the wings. I got nothing to worry about. He's gonna stomp all over your ass.
Get... Okay, well... I'm pretty sure if that lands, that's a one-hit KO move. I've only ever seen Guillotine once or twice before. Goodbye, Scott. <laughs> Goodbye. I am the Pokemon Master. You know, that's money we're getting. If we lose, at least we can buy lots more stuff in the next round. But I have, I have a sinking suspicion we may defeat the Elite Four in one go. Unless our, unless our rival, unless Butts has something really, really powerful to throw at us. Hey, Trixie, how you doing? Yeah, Guillotine is, but I think Guillotine's accuracy is really low, if I'm not mistaken, JB. You don't see Guillotine too often. Alright, Scott, listen. Oh, I'm talking to you. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Got it. Got it. His name is Butts. He beat the Elite Four before you. He's the real Pokemon League champion. Oh, no, not Butts. Anyone but butts. Uh, if I win right now, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can. Oh, we can. We can do some runs of the of the secret boss in Delta Room. If I lose, right, if I win right now, because I still haven't beaten the secret boss. Lose the champion for 10 minutes, still bad. feel bad for beating his shit in. Well, he he was a dick through the entire game. He just got back from a birthday party. Ooh, that sounds really fun, Trixie. How'd it go? Was there good food? That's my favorite part of any party. That's always the highlight, whether there's good food or not. Uh, let's see if we can if we can rock the Elite Four in one go. The Elite Four and our boy, our boy Butts. Because we're Saxon Butts, the ultimate combo. He assembled a team that could beat any Pokemon. Just wait, he's gonna immediately whip out a Caterpie. He's just gonna be like, look at my Caterpie! He's level 65! Level 60! Oh, this, this song is so fucking epic. I fucking love this song. Oh shit! Oh shit! He's okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but oh fuck! He's got an Articuno. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's got a level 61 Articuno. We may be in trouble. Wait, we may actually be in trouble. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh. <sighs> well. Oh, it's flying, so that won't work. Um. Yeah, he heard me talking shit. He's like, oh, you think you're gonna beat me in one go? Where are my Articuno? <laughs> But here's the problem, he's really dumb, so he's probably gonna keep using agility. Yeah. Yeah, the AI's really dumb when they don't have the moves they're expected to have. Yeah, he's just gonna keep using agility. Gen 1, Gen 1 AI is really dumb. I mean, it's not the AI, it's just the game was programmed for them to use speci to have specific moves. And when they don't have those specific moves, it fucks with them. Butts is about to use Pinsir! Uh, yeah.
Oh, he's burned. Right, he has four restores. I'm really glad he didn't use a full restore on Articuno. That could have actually been a problem. Goodbye! Oh, Miracle's at level 43. <gasps> Butts is about to use Armistar! Oh shit. Um. Armistar is actually a problem. Glizzies and burgers and all the cookout sides. We spent most of the night swimming and then playing a Disney movie drinking game. Ooh, Trixie, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, no pool once the drinks were flowing, though, because that's not safe. Well, I mean, pools aren't safe for me, period, because I don't know how to swim. But I can imagine that while drinking... Yeah, we still we still have an Ivysaur. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yeah, a Disney movie drinking game sounds really cool. You busted out your Bilkini! Oh my god, Trixie, that sounds amazing. I'm still I'm still very tempted to buy a Bilkini. <laughs> I'll model it for the for the Beardy Bunch Patreon. Cause I'm sure that's the content that everybody wants. Growlith! Why chain no? This is perfect. He's just gonna keep using agility. <laughs> Goodbye, Grava. We may I think we're gonna actually win. <laughs> Radicate! Uh no, I'll stick with Swingo's doing pretty well. Oh, Super Fang's pretty dangerous, actually. Oh, wait. No, it's just Super Fang. It's not Hyper Fang. Right, now punch him. Punch him while he's weak! Alright, who's the last one? Please don't be like a Mewtwo. Butter- okay, we can handle Butterfree. We can handle Butterfree. Uh... Yeah, oh hell yeah. He had- he actually had a decent- considering it was randomized. Like, that was a realistic team that our rival could have. <laughs> Poor Butterfree. <laughs> bye bye Butterfree all over again. Uh oh. I always forget that Butterfree knows Psybeam. Bye bye Butter. We just we just beat most of our Pokemon are like twenty levels lower than every member of the Elite Four, and we just beat the Elite Four in one try. I thought we were gonna have to do this like three or four times to get some extra levels and to stock up on items and stuff. I 
I'm the new Pokemon League champion. Sex. I'm not gonna, we, we, I read all the dialogue when we played our, our blue playthrough. If folks want, we'll, we'll read the dialogue again when we do the completion yellow. But, um, we, we, our re randomized red playthrough is at a close. We're gonna watch our, our crack team in the, in the Hall of Fame. And then I guess maybe we'll, we'll do a couple attempts on, well, more than a couple attempts, because it's only 9 o'clock. We still got two hours of streaming left to go. I honestly thought this was going to take the whole stream, because we were so low level. I didn't take into account the fact that most of the Elite Four would have Caterpies, Pidgeys, and other not very strong Pokemon. With the exception of Scott Psyduck. Level 33! Oh no, I did evolve him. He is a Venusaur. Never mind. I thought he was still an Ivysaur. Oh, Wings! Level 35! Our, our Dragonite from Route 1 or Route 2. I forget which route. <gasps> Scooby Mew! Our level 41 Mew! Oh, and our boy, our starter! Our starter, starter Polyrath Swiggle! Our boy! The only Pokemon I actually named in the team, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the rest were all named by chat. El Diablo, our level 36 Zapdos. And then, Miracle. Oh, no, I think I named Miracle, too. Because Miracle was like a level 40 Charmander when we caught it. And there we are, our boy, our boy Sax! Playtime 20, I don't think that's accurate. I think I've left the game on. We had 30,000 bucks for beating the Elite Four. <laughs> oh, I can go get the EXP all from the aid. That's good. We did it! Now I get to listen to this pop. Yeah, I'm very curious about the drinking game too and how it worked. I'm always down for a good drinking game. Oh, here we go. Uh, a sip when someone mentions and or uses the word princess, animal talk, or magic is used. Five second chug when a song starts. Ten if you know all the words. John Goodman or Gilbert Godfrey talk. <laughs> or you hear follow your dreams, listen to your heart, or true love. And finally, a shot when a parent dies. A kiss saves the day. You hear once upon a time the death of a villain is seen slash implied, or the movie says happily ever after. <laughs> what uh, what movies were you were you watching while you were doing said drinking game, Trixie? Were there particular movies that you were watching? That's a lot, that's a lot to keep. I will say once you get a good ways into the drinking game, that those are a lot of details to keep track of. <laughs> Speaking of drinking games, we're going to be having a drunk stream on Tuesday. It's going to be Drunk Night, K-N-I-G-H-T. We're going to be playing Hollow Knight, and every time I die, I will be drinking. Which I'm sure the further in we get to, to me drinking, the more I'm going to die. <laughs> I've got the I've got the goods here for it. We got a nice a nice bottle of Jim Beam Fire, and I also have one of the vanilla. I don't know which one I'm gonna bust open for that because we're gonna have another drunk night in October. All right, the end. The end. Um. Well. I guess we're gonna we're gonna do something else for the last two hours. I thought that was gonna take the whole stream. Oops. So um, let's jump over here. I'll hold on to that because I'll need that. I guess we'll do um we'll do some runs of. Is that my counter's not working? There it is. One forty one of one fifty for the Beardy Bunch chooses for the subathon. 
where the Beardy Bunch are going to come up with something probably crazy that I'm going to have to do on stream. Uh, Alright, we're going to play... I guess we'll do a couple attempts on the... the... oh, the, the genocide ending boss for Deltarune Chapter 2. Since we still have not managed to defeat him. Changed it. It's not Delta Rune one and two. It's just Delta Rune now. Uh, it's not modded. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, here we go. Hey, young Pokey Gamer. Oh, I'm so sorry if you're here for Pokemon. We actually just finished our Pokemon playthrough. We just beat the Elite Four on our randomized Red playthrough. Um, so we're switching over to playing some Delta Rune for the last two hours of the stream. So I'm, I'm sorry if you're here for Pokemon. We actually just finished. Someone suggested Bambi in The Lion King. So I've never seen Bambi. I'm aware of almost everything that happens in Bambi, but I have never seen Bambi. The Lion King, though, was a big part of my childhood. <laughs> I don't know. Are there a lot of, are there a lot of like songs and stuff in Bambi? I'm not that I'm familiar with the story, but I'm not that familiar with. So apparently there's a if I play with not a controller, apparently there's an exploit that you can use on this guy. That was originally a bug, but then Toby Fox decided to make it an actual feature of the game. I wanna see if it works. I don't necessarily want to use it to actually win. I don't know how I don't know what any of the buttons are. There we go, on keyboard. Because I've been playing on controller the whole time. Oh, Bambi's your favorite! Ooh. I'm going to have to check out Bambi. I'm aware of the implications of the story and, like, the stuff that happens. But as far as the, the more minute details... This one, I don't think I can play on keyboard. So apparently, if you hit, okay, it's not that. I thought so. There was a button that just let you use like endless charge attacks. We're going back to the controller. I was just trying out. I don't remember what button it said the exploit is. There's a button that you can press that lets you just keep using endless charge attacks, which just kind of breaks the fight. I don't necessarily want to beat it that way. I just wanted to see how it actually worked and how much easier. I want to. I want to beat it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> You're so loud, Delta Rune. Bambi, oh, I, I know nothing about Bambi 2. I didn't even know there was a Bambi 2, Trixie. That one's news to me.
come, here come the, the, the Pippis. Here come the Pippis. Fuck. Alright! I gotta get reused to everything. It's been a couple days since we've tried this. Spammed him. You're going down, my dude. This is this is the time. The time of reckoning is upon you. Hotline, I'll get you that stream loot pack right after this, uh, after this round. So we either lose or probably inevitably. I, I expect we're gonna, we're gonna die quite soon. Oh, well, Chapter 2 is fantastic. This is, so we're doing the alternate ending right now, which is the equivalent to a genocide run of the game. And this is the the boss in chapter two that's essentially the the sands of the chapter. We uh, we've been stuck on this guy for a couple days now. But chapter two is fantastic. I don't know, have you played chapter one, Hotline? played or seen anything about this game well not that much of it at least oh really everyone was going crazy about it like everything i see popping up on youtube the last couple days has been like theory vid videos and stuff like that on this game let me get you your pack of stream loot there you go hotline you got a pack headed your way uh, it's fantastic though i highly recommend it and it is coming out on... I think it came out on the Switch yesterday, Chapter 2. Chapter 1's been on the Switch for a while. Have you ever played Undertale Hotline? Undertale's fantastic. Undertale's one of my all-time favorite games. Also, how are you today, Hotline? How is your day? How's your Friday treat? I played Undertale. You only did a pass. I, you know what? For the sake of your sanity hotline, I've done I've done both, and I've done multiple genocide runs on on the channel. Do not, for the sake of your sanity and for the sake of all things that you care about in your life, <laughs> 
Do not do a genocide run for your own sake. Trixie at 93 Trixie. has purchased five packs. Trixie, thank you so much for those five packs of stream loot. I really appreciate that, Trixie. We're filling out job applications. Ooh. What kind of jobs are you looking for? Anything in particular? What's up next? Oh, no. No, it's the Pippus. Yeah, I really hope, Brady. I really hope this is the one. That's still my least favorite attack. They're so sporadic in their bounce. Anything at this point? I don't blame you. I hope you find something really awesome, though. I hope you find a really awesome job that you really enjoy, because that's the most important thing. That's absolutely the most important thing. How you doing today, Brady? How is your day treating you, my friend? I know about the, uh, the keyboard exploit, Brady, but I'm choosing to not use that. The infinite charge shot exploit. I also don't think that works on controller, and switching over to keyboard now would be a lot harder. Oh, hell yeah, any other advice though, I'm definitely open for it. I, uh, I already I already knew about that exploit and I I don't want to use that because that feels like the cheap way of doing it. Fuck! I hate that move so much. Oh, Trixie! Thank you! Thank you so much, Trixie. That's, I think that's the word. Between that and the one where he's crawling at us with his phone hands. They're the two worst ones. I want to beat him just so he'll stop making that sound. I don't like that sound at all. <laughs> Decided I don't want to be a big shot. I just want to end this playthrough.
was a mistake. I should have healed. It's like, nah, I can tank my way through whatever comes next. I don't need to heal. Who needs to heal? It's not important. I kind of want to get rid of everything just buy more healing items. So now we have literally all healing items. Oh, I thought I had other random stuff in my inventory. I guess not. heads. Big shot soda. I uh, I saw I saw the video talking about that Brady. That that's probably what they based the character on was that guy. This dude looks like they're in a late nineties theme punk ba punk pop band. Hey, I I'd be okay with that. I could see, but the the entire band is just variations of themselves. Like they're all variations of Spamton. Like one's a really tall Spamton. One's a really short Spamton. They're all they're all the just the same dude. They all look exactly the same. Bra I'm waiting for us to get to zero Brady and you just be like, yeah, my my advice is to get good. I'm waiting for that to be the advice. <laughs> Cause that's something I would do. <laughs>
into them. That was all me. I ran right into them that time. Uh, I forgot to save after I did this last time. I'm excited for for the fun fact break. I always like some Delta Rune fun facts. Was it Trixie? Thank you, Trixie. In the school, every single clock in the school is wrong. No, that's kind of cool. I wonder if it means anything though. It's like the specific times that they show. Thank you, Trixie. gotten even nearly as close as we were last time. I did save this thing, right? The new items, yeah. Although, running out of healing items is not the issue. He's just fucking me up before I can even use all the healing items. Spampton. Spampton G. Spampton. The man, the myth, the legend.
been absent from your streams for a couple days. Are you still? Yes. Uh, yeah, we're still Chris. So this is actually a second playthrough of the game, Trixie. Um, we're doing... I don't know how familiar you are with Undertale, but in Undertale, there's... Hey, Crazy Jones! Thank you so much for that six-month resub. I really appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, in Undertale, there's a, a genocide run where you basically just kill everything instead of sparing the monsters, like is the intended way to play. Uh, in this game, you corrupt one of the other characters, Noelle, the, the reindeer character, into using her ice magic to essentially kill all the monsters. Uh, and that leads to a genocide run in this, which leads to this much harder final boss. So this is actually a second playthrough of the game. You put up with me for six months? I can't believe it, Jones! I can't- look at that golden glizzy there next to your name. Holy hamburgers. Thank you so much, Jones. I really appreciate that. I don't know how you put up with me for six months. That's- that's the burning question in my mind. How do you guys put up with me for this long? There's- there's- there's some nine-month subs. How do you guys put up with me for almost a year? Oh, my charm. I didn't know I had that. <laughs> this is news to me, Jones. <laughs> you have an omelet. You had to warn me legally. I love omelets. I think legally you have to share with everyone, Sleepy. I think that's I think that's a law. Anytime anyone has an omelet, they have to share with all of chat. Thank you so much for the work, Sleepy. Underscore making, making it rain. Making it rain glizzies all over the place. Look at all those glizzies. Look at all those beautiful glizzies. What's that next? I forget. We haven't been this one in a while. Oh good, it's the Pippus. I hate the Pippus.
What's for you? Oh. Did he just get blasted in the face with his own? <laughs> I like that. Oh, he's almost dead! <gasps> he's almost dead! Oh my god, he's almost dead! Uh oh. What is this? Uh oh, this is new. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. This is new. We've never been this far. This is the farthest we've ever made it. that hurt us, but apparently not. <gasps> Did we do it? My esteemed customer, I see you are attempting to deplete my HP. I'll admit you've got some guts, kid. But in a one-for-one -one battle, Neo never loses. It's time for a little blue light special. F -f 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 phase two! No, 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 what do you mean, Phase 2? Didn't you know Neo is famous for its high defense? Now, enjoy the firework. I need... Oh, yeah. I need all the Pika... Give me the Pika power, Chet! Send me all the Pika power! Now, enjoy the fireworks, kid. Oh, fuck. No, what? Oh, I can't attack him. Oh. Chris called for help. But nobody came. What? You're calling your friends? You think you can beat me with your friends' magic? Go ahead, kid. Call all you want. No one will ever pick up. Chris called for help, but nobody came. Go ahead and scream into the receiver. The voice, ru your, the voice runs out eventually. Your voice, their voice, until you realize you are alone. This is a lot easier. Chris, oh, because he lowered his attack. Chris called for help, but nobody came. There will be no more miracles, no more magic. You lost it when you tried to see too far. You lost it. Chris called for help, but nobody came. You make me sick, muttering your lost friend's names at the bottom of a dumpster. No one's gonna help you. Get that through your beautiful head, you little worm. You whisper Noelle's name. Her? You're still trying to use her? Ha ha ha! You think she can hear you now muttering her name? Wait, what's she gonna do? Make me an ice cream? Hey, is it cold in here? Is it, do we do it? I did. It's really dumb, Sleepy. We, talk, we talked about this yesterday. <laughs> Chris Pratt as fucking Mario. That is such a dumb <laughs> joke. I hope Nintendo comes out and like, we're just trolling all of you. <laughs> I Jack Black as, as Bowser? What's he going to do? Just go, bruh, bruh, bruh. Bowser doesn't have, like... <laughs> he always talks in, like, mumble growls. <laughs> huh. We did it! Wait, did we actually do it? Is the game going to troll me? Do we do it? Yeah, I think Jack Black would make a better DK. I think Seth Seth Rogen as DK is one of like Chris Pratt as Mario is on the top of the chain of dumbest things that were in that direct. Next thing down is Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. <laughs> All I can see now is like Donkey Kong lighting up a bong or something. <laughs> uh huh. Beardly Birdly's alarm. <laughs> A dream. It was really just a... We did it, chat. We did it. Oh, no, we still have an hour left. <laughs> I'm running out of things to do. I didn't think Pokemon was going to end in a fucking hour. Susie? Susie, what are you doing here? Uh, you invited us to study, remember? Oh, right, I did, didn't I? Haha, <laughs> I think this is the same. Uh, you're in a, you're in a good mood. Did you, uh, have a good dream? Yeah, they should have, like, they have, Mario has a voice actor. His name is Charles Martinet. <laughs> He's in the movie. He's making cameos in the movie. Why did they not just have Charles Martinet do the voice of Mario in the movie? 
Why did they not just have Charles Martinet? He's already in the movie. Did you uh, have a good dream? It was a nightmare. Oh. I'm just happy I woke up. The end was nice, though. Man, I know there were stream loot redemptions. Let me scroll up real quick. We missed... Okay, Sleepy. Sleepy and Sleepy. Just Sleepy. Yeah, Sleepy. Let me get you a stream loot pack. Because I'm pretty sure we're done. I think we beat him. That was a cool boss. I, as much as we struggled with it for a while, that was a really cool boss. There you go, Sleepy. Sleepy and Sleepy, the dynamic duo. The Sleepy Brothers. <laughs> well, well, um... Hey, 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 Birdly, time to get get up and go. I don't think Birdly's gonna get up. I think I'm pretty sure he murdered Birdly. Birdly? No, I think Birdly's dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Birdly's dead. Gosh, you've been studying too much, Birdly. Honestly, you deserve a little rest, you know? Sweet dreams. Oh, no. Noel, you killed Birdly. How are you gonna live with yourself, Noel? What are you doing? You don't have a tail, do you, Susie? Uh-huh. No way. Of course not. Really? That's great. That was weird, Chris. Somehow it doesn't feel like we just saved the world. Chris, hey, wait a sec, Chris. We we just actually saved the world, didn't we? Damn. We really are heroes. And no one even knows. Guess it's better that that way, though, right? People freak out if they knew the world's in danger. Though, kind of sucks Noel was, has to forget, too. Whatever, let's get out of here. Okay, so this is all the same now. As the original ending. Birdly? He doesn't seem to be awake. Birdly? Birdly, wake up. I mean, you were kind of a dick. I don't feel that bad. Oh, look, the, the Ferris wheel's on the poster. So that's the Ferris wheel. Hey, Gavin! Gavin, how you doing, my friend? Thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate it. How have you been doing, Gavin? What was that noise? Was that... Was that somebody in chat playing that, or was that in the game? Wait. You suddenly thought about how your day might have been different if the poster with that orange cat was still on the wall. Was there a different poster on the wall if we did the if we did the pacifist run? Why is it so chilly in your room? It's because of this channel, the coolest channel. Oh, Gavin, Gavin, you 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 honor me with those words. Thank you so much, Gavin. Visitor at the hospital, we will. I want to I want to take a look around at everything. Make sure the closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily Are we gonna are we gonna stuff Birdly in the closet? Come on, Birdly. Get in the closet. I don't this this you suddenly thought about how your day might have been different if the poster with that orange cat was still on the wall. Oh, no worries, Hotline. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. You're doing terrible. Oh, no. Well, what's the matter? If you were on my Discord, you would know that I'm dealing with a depression and I don't feel it. No, you don't have to. You absolutely don't have to explain, Gavin. I hope you're okay, though. I'm really sorry to hear that. You might be gone for at least a few weeks to a month and at most a few years. Oh, no, Gavin. I hope you're okay. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry. Oh, that's right, Hotline did give you a pack. Let's get a pack of stream loot to Sleepy. Stream loot. Coming at you, Sleepy. There you go. That's interesting, because I, I don't remember what was on the wall when we did the pacifist run. Was there a different poster on the wall? It's full of many backup devices, like extra mice, extra key. That's the same. It looks like someone accidentally printed off. Yeah. Looks like the library's state of the art. Okay, so all this is the same. 
I underscore put underscore you underscore do underscore sleep asks, what's your favorite Marvel superhero that wears red? That wears red? Oh no, Brady, that's terrible. <laughs> that wears red. Uh, does it have to all be red? Like full red? Or can it just be some red? Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. Just a lot of red on the costume. Uh, probably, probably maybe Daredevil. Daredevil's pretty cool. The idea of a of a blind superhero is really interesting. Yeah, Daredevil. Man, it got this. I think this is all the same. But we can go see, we can go see the nightmare world we left behind because we we didn't spare anybody. So there's gonna be nobody to go back to our world. This ghost, I don't know what is Ghost Rider. I'm only familiar with with Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider. <laughs> I don't know what actual Ghost Rider looks like. Oh yeah, Gavin, you gotta, you absolutely have to take time away for yourself. That's so important. Taking time to make sure that you're okay and to make sure that you're getting everything that you need is is the most important thing. I'm so sorry to hear that you're going through that. I feel really bad, but yeah, that's, you definitely have to take time for yourself, time to, to recover and feel better. And then we'll we'll all be right here waiting for you whenever you're ready to come back. So this is your castle town. It's... Magnificent! The population density is so wonderfully low. I bet the Swatchlings will love this. Where are the Swatchlings anyhow? Or Task Manager? Or even regular Task? Hey Chris, where is everybody else? Don't worry Queen, I'm here. Me and only me. Okay, oh he's the only one. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll go to my room. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to, but you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? Yeah, so we didn't bring anybody back. <laughs> That's so sad. Well, other than the queen. Your message is about to be buried. Hang on, let me take a look, Sleepy. Batman, Ghost Rider, and Daredevil's names are all wrong. Daredevil should be called Batman because he's as blind as a bat. Ghost Rider should be named Daredevil because before he got a flaming skull, he was a Daredevil. And Batman should be Ghost Rider because he does nothing but ride the dick of the ghost of his dead parents. Sleepy! <laughs> That's not true. He's also got a weird fixation with taking on s teenage boys to be his apprentice. Rouse will soon set up .exe my room for me upstairs. Do not worry, oh they don't chill. I have a long spreadsheet of demands ready. Though, even if I had an awesome room, who will be there to f force to enjoy it? I wonder how Noelle is doing now. Well, we're gonna find out soon. Does the king say anything different? Yeah, that that is also true, Endgamer. <laughs> Talk to you, ha! Huh? You left them behind, didn't you? Just as you left us. Oh, even the king is angry with us. I mean, the king's always angry with us. I am I really cannot wait for chapter three to see how all of the... Because this is, this is big. This isn't just like um, the secret boss from from chapter one, which I've gone back and I've watched some, some playthroughs of it. This is like actually big. This changes the story. Sleepy, are you the next Robin?
Alright, let's see what let's see what Noel is up to. Silver Drake, huh? That's a new one. Alright, what's the plan, honey? Hmm. Maybe we could try Ice Shock. Ice on the Ice Palace, boss? Don't you want to try Fire Shock or something? Huh, huh, y yeah, you're right. Here, how about letting me control for a bit? N no, I'll control it myself. Not like you to be a controller hog, honey. You feeling all right? Huh, me, of course, I'm fine, Dad. I just... I fell asleep in the library and... You know, just had a weird dream, haha. <laughs> Noelle, weird dream where she murdered a bunch of people but via ice. There's a Robin named Red Robin. You can't take it seriously. Well, Red Robin is is um, Jason Todd after he came back from the dead. I know that bird brain put you to sleep. <laughs> what do you do? Start lecturing you on his theorem? But doesn't Red Hood becomes Red Robin after he, they redeem him? Is that not true? Hey, Papa Bear Ellie! Because Red Hood is when he was a bad guy, and then he became Red Robin. I thought. I could be wrong. Tim Drake is Red Robin. Isn't Tim Drake Nightwing? I may not know the differences of the Robins. I've only read a handful of Batman comics. TBH, I might... Oh. Hang on. Sorry, Gavin. It's scrolled. Oh, Dick Grayson. I don't know the difference between... There's too many Robins! TBH, I might stay away from Twitch in general for a bit, so if you don't see me, no worries. No worries, Gavin. You gotta you gotta take care of your everything that you got going on. You gotta make sure that you're in the right place. I, I absolutely I don't blame you for taking time. There's like no there's there's aren't there more? There's like the new one that's his his son, and then there's the one in the the return of Batman comic that's like the wannabe Robin. Yeah, then there's the one in the Return of Batman comics too, though. I forget I forget what their name is. I think they might be a her. I think that's like the only female Robin. What do you do? Start lecturing you on his theorem of the inequality in children's fighter games? <laughs> no, no, he he fell asleep too. Wow, he even put himself to sleep, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, sounds like. You two have been hitting the books too hard. Why don't you go home and hibernate? I'll see you tomorrow at church. Dad, are you going to be okay to go? Of course, you take it easy, honey. Okay then, yeah, I'll go home and rest. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Chris. Chris, wait, whoa. So wait, that's interesting. I think, when, if I'm not mistaken, when we did a pacifist run, she noticed Susie before she noticed Chris. Because I think she was immediately like, Susie, what are you doing here? But this time she noticed Chris first. <laughs> Hell if I know. S Susie? Maybe she did it. I could be wrong. Did we scare? I, I mean, we turned her into basically a sociopath in the other world, so... Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? Cool. Think I have to go now. Susie, huh? Yeah. Lay a finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, kind of kidding. Sorry, I <laughs> used up a lot of my energy just now. Probably not going to be very fun to talk to. Thanks for visiting, though, Chris. And you too, Susie. Look, Chris, can't say much, but Noelle might look like she has it all. But her mother, her mother, you know. Love her, but she's tough on her. This is, the, this is not anything different. This is what he said last time. Hey, Susie, mind if I have a word with you for a sec? Uh... Guess I'll be a set, Chris. Come on, it... It was just a bad dream. Even so, it was so real. I can't get it out of my mind. That voice telling me what to do. A voice unlike Chris's. Hmm. 
a terrifying voice. Chris, recently there's been something different about them. Why hasn't anyone else noticed it? I, I have to figure it out. Why Chris is acting so strange. Why they keep coming to the hospital. Uh, to, to, to see you? Uh-huh. Chris, how long have you been standing there? Phew, you, you, uh, you really scared me, you know? Keep it together, Noelle. There's nothing to be afraid of. After all, a dream is just a dream, right? Chris, why are you wearing my wa- Ah, see, I remembered seeing something that if we put her watch on. It would it would give us a different a different scene. Well, when did you? Hey, Chris, let's beat it already. Man, he kept t telling me about Noelle, like her favorite things, places she places she'd like to go. No idea what the hell that was about. So, uh, the hell were you two doing? Uh, oh, uh, um, n nothing, Susie. I was I was just about to go home. Uh, um, see you. Yeah. So that's what I'm most interested to see when Chapter 3 comes out. This is this is big. Like, this isn't just a minor detail. This is a whole character arc that we've turned in a completely different direction. Guess she's afraid of me again, huh? Man, would be, would be nice if she knew everything that happened was real, huh, Chris? Mm, I don't think that'd be a good idea. Come on, try to be a little more enthusiastic. Potentially, Bur Birdley's dead. <laughs> Birdley may or may not be dead in this in this playthrough. I don't know if there's anything different. I'm gonna guess probably not. dream is, is a wish your heart makes when you're asleep. That's really inspirational, Trixie. I like that. Let's go see Sans. Sans! Brother? What are you talking about? I don't have a... Br Wait, what? Excuse me? Haha, <laughs> just messing with you. I totally do. So, to be honest, I never mentioned- Oh, 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 oh. Um, I didn't link up a save file with this one. So we've- He doesn't think we've ever met before. Okay, he doesn't think we've ever met before, because we didn't do the- Wait. Wait, what is this? Oh, hey, forget something? We didn't get this scene last time. Why, er, uh, yes, I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory's not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> There's really egg on my face now, is there not? Ah, you're excused. <laughs> I love the puns. Now it sounds as if you are egging me on. Oh, <laughs> egg on or egg off. I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional. <laughs> And don't forget- Ah, oh, it's Asgore! And don't forget me, your egg's husband. Oh no! <laughs> I think it's too soon. It's too soon, Asgore. Uh, hello, Asgore. Tori, I didn't expect to see you here, but I... I have some extra flowers, and I was wondering if... Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh sure. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> Um, so, when Azrael comes home... Yes, we should all discuss that together soon. Okie dokie, say hi to Chris for me. Of course, have a nice day. You know what? You know what I want, Bone Man. Yep. Free pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask? What kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to your plants about that. No, 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 don't, 
Sans, this is a bad idea. Remember what happened last time? <laughs> you talked to his plants? <laughs> I mean, they, his plants have the soul of Asriel in them, but... Um, the bad things happen. Haha, -ha, don't worry, they're the first ones I asked. They're such good listeners, you know? Flowers. Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. Yeah, haha. -ha. I even keep them in glass. Mmm. Oh, that's right, he had all the flowers and jars in Chapter 1. Which gave me the, like, the distinct sensation of the, where he, how he had the souls in the jars. Put the egg in the plant. Flowey egg carnate. <laughs> yes, it's it's very similar to that movie. Well, have a good one. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> hey, Chris. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> this guy. I want to come see this guy. Look, look at him. <laughs> yeah, I'm the sickle that looks at all the milks to find the best aspiration day. You got something about it? This, this That's my favorite character in the game right there. That guy right there. I hope he's a major character in the next game. Or in the next chapter. Yeah, we can't go see Asgore this time around. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude in, in your alleyway. I don't want to know what's going on back there. Unless now we can go see Asgore. Because there's a side door. Side door behind the flower shop. But there's flowers blocking the way. No, I just don't think we can see Asgore. Watch, we'll watch the ending again. We'll watch the, the wonderful ending again. That uh, I want to know what happens. I want to I wanna know. I want chapter 3. Toby Fox, I know chapter 2 just came out, but I want chapter 3. <laughs> also, I love this fucking song. our hands I still ha love how in the beginning when you come to the sink it tells you it's not yet time to wash your hands foreshadowing this scene there's 10 chapters listed in the game files oh I mean technically that menu could be made to scroll this is still so fucking weird I don't think anything's going to be different, because we corrupted Noel. I think this is just the same ending. <laughs> I, think, I think Chris is going to be forever a creeper. I'm waiting for the big twist that creep that <laughs> creeper, <laughs> yeah, creeper Chris is actually the final boss of the final chapter, and it turns out that Susie's been the the protagonist all along. Dramatic entrance. <laughs> he makes such a dramatic entrance when he comes back in. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, Rousey could be the prota. I like Rousey. I like, there, are, there are very few characters in this game that I don't like, because they're, they're developed so well. Ooh, Azrael unable to aid. I really want to know. Like, they keep teasing. They keep teasing Azrael. Like, even that scene before made the comment about, um, what are we going to do when Azrael comes home from college? So, presumably, Azrael's going to come back at some point. Oh, Newbert! I forgot all about Newbert. Also, there's something weird going on with with Susie's family. Where does Susie live? So the festival's being foreshadowed. I feel like the festival's gonna be important. Yeah, let's 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 see what she says if we say Noel. What? Why are you saying it's so confused? It's not like I meant anything weird. You know what? Forget it. Look, let's just go back to watching TV. <laughs> she's saying she's angry. <laughs> Susie's family lives in the sewer. Oh no! Her family's extinct! I hope not. But I mean, I'm getting the impression that she may be like an orphan? Because she never says anything about her family. Almost every other character talks about their family, except for Susie. I still love that. <laughs> Just immediately asleep. <laughs> Ooh, homeless. That's possible. <laughs> she does get really excited. Like, when we went down the alleyway where the, where, where the bowl of milk is, Susie got really excited about free milk. Yeah, oh yeah, she did. She got really excited about having her own room. Oh, maybe Susie is home. And she does have, like, her aesthetic, her real world aesthetic is are like the, the torn jeans. And it just seems like her, like, originally I thought it was just a, like a fashion statement. Like, she had the torn jeans and the leather jacket. But maybe that's just all she has. That's really sad if that ends up being the case. I like Susie. All right, here we go. Nightmare Mare scene number two. I think everything's going to be the same at this point. Just uh, stick that in the couch. Yep, shove it down there between the couch cushions. Yep, just for safekeeping. That's where I like to keep my heart too, right down in the in between the couch couch cushions with the uh, the stale potato chips and loose change. See, originally when I saw this, I had the idea that maybe someone was controlling Chris, but everything that we've seen in this playthrough in the um, Snowgrave, I think everybody's calling it the Snowgrave playthrough. I was calling it the Genocide playthrough at first, but... Everything we've seen just makes it seem like Chris has something else going on. Like, maybe another... Another personality inside them. And I've seen something somewhere that talked about there's a line that 
And I think it's when you do the secret boss during the pacifist run and you fight Neo... Um, Neo Spamton during the pacifist run, where he says something about beware the man in the TV. Which may or may not be the, the smile that we see on the TV and the protagonist, or the antagonist from chapter 3, presumably. So the red heart is us. Oh, then by, like, removing the red heart, those are the only sequences where we don't have control of Chris's actions, for the most part. With the exception of some, like, cutscenes and stuff. That'd be an, that's an interesting idea. Where the idea of ripping the heart out is taking control away from us. Hmm. I need chapter three. Toby Fox. Toby Fox, what are you doing? You working on chapter three yet? <laughs> I'm ready for it. I know it's only been about a week, maybe a week and a half since this came out, but I want chapter three. I need to know what happens. <laughs> also, in the Spamton exposition, he was working with someone and got really popular. Yeah, the, so the theory, I have seen theories about that. The, the theory is that it may or may not have been Gaster, since everything seems to be linking back to well i guess within the within the fandom the fandom wants everything to link back to gaster because gaster has been teased since undertale so I, I i've heard a lot of theories that folks think it's gaster that's the one that took over that like corrupted um spam spamton and the one that uh, corrupted, I believe his name is Jevil, the secret boss in Chapter 1. I didn't fight the secret boss in Chapter 1, but I went back and I found some videos of, of folks doing the fight so I can see what happens. I'd, I'd like that. I wish they would bring Gaster in. But yeah, presumably, like, there's seven chapters listed here. Um, you can't see, I'm, you can't see my, my cursor. But presumably, it could scroll down. Like, you can get to Chapter 3 and it could scroll. We can't... We can't highlight any of the chapters that aren't out. So we're assuming there's seven chapters because that's all that's on the list. But there could be a, like a function where it scrolls down further once we get to chapter seven. That we just, we can't tell that because we, we can't highlight any of the other chapters. Because I think, I think it was you, Brady, that mentioned that there's ten chapters listed in the, in the files for the game. Which, I mean... 10 chat i'll take 10 i'll take 20 give me 30 chat this is fantastic tell me fox work on this game for the rest of your life <laughs> Ooh, that's true they could be like extra extra like content that unlocks what what i suspect is gonna happen so chapter they've already set up chapter three to be presumably in like we open the portal in our house, so presumably everything's going to be set up already for us to wake up and we're in the, the new dark world. And it's like, oh, what's going on? Why is there another fountain? Why are we here? Um, and Toriel's probably going to be there, and Toriel will have like a new form in the next chapter. So we may not actually encounter anything to do with Noel and Birdly until the end of the chapter when we seal the fountain and get to go explore the like the IRL town again. So there's a good chance that no matter what we did in this playthrough that might not affect anything long term for the story in the next chapter. Unless somehow Noel ends up at our house and ends up following in the in the portal. The goat strain route. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's gonna be. We're gonna have we're gonna have Goat Mom as our new party member and we can corrupt Goat Mom. It won't be the, at the end, it won't be the, the genocide run of Deltarune. It'll be the corruption run where you corrupt all the characters into being evil. That'd be interesting. That'd be real interesting. I don't know. I want, I want freaking chapter three. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I'm both glad and sorry that I waited. Because I only played chapter one right before chapter two came out. I'm both glad and glad because I didn't have a crazy long wait for Chapter 2, like most folks that played Chapter 1 back when it first came out. Um, but disappointed in myself also because it was such a freaking good game and such a good chapter. What do I think's in the shack? Well, I, I know the, the, the theory of what the shack is is that that's where Gaster is. And those sounds that it 
makes around there, like something that are supposedly associated with ghastly Easter eggs from Undertale, if I if I'm remembering correctly. I've watched I've watched quite a few videos on YouTube since um, since playing Chapter One because I've gotten like super invested in the story. But I know that's one of the the big theories that that there's a that that's all related to Gaster. That's where Gaster is. And I also saw there's because I don't I don't know if I have a file that I can do it. Um, when you're in the dark world, if you try to call someone on your phone, it makes this like dial-up noise, almost like the old dial-up internet. And then Spamton makes a comment about, and this is in the 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 secret boss run when you talk to him in the shop he makes a comment about how or no there's another character that makes a comment about after spamped and disappeared the phone was hanging off the hook and he picked up the phone and all it was was garbage noise on the other end which possibly could have some implication on chris that chris is hearing that noise and chris is doing all these things and opening these portal well we know at least one portal where we can assume that he opened the other portal because at the end of chapter one he has another scene where he rips his heart out we don't see him open the portal at the library but i think we're we're supposed to assume that's what happened Yeah, I was I was surprised because I know Toby said that they weren't going to release them until they were all done. Now I believe you told me that they're not going to release three until uh, they're going to release three as a bundle. It's going to be like three, four, and five together. Or was that somebody else that told me that? I'm not sure where that information came from. I know somebody had mentioned that in chat. Icy is caster. <gasps> That's someone else. Okay, someone had mentioned that, and I haven't I haven't seen anywhere confirmation of that. I know it's I think it's confirmed that chapter that after chapter two they're gonna be you're gonna have to pay for them, which is fine. I'm happy to pay for it. like this is a fantastic game. Toby shouldn't be giving these away for free. <laughs> how is Toby making money at this point? <laughs> Peter, Peter, how you doing? How are you, Peter? It's always so good to have Peter here. How many, how much do I think the full game will cost? Uh I don't know. Like I like I I would not if especially if there's 10 chapters, I would not complain about this being a full price game cuz it's that's the quality of the game itself is is a full price. Is is some there's $60 games that come out that are not nearly as good as these first two chapters. I would not complain if they came out and they're like, yeah, you can you can buy the whole thing for 60 bucks and it's a full, like a full price game. Because I think it's worth, like, it's quality. This is one of the highest quality games I've played in a long time. That's true. He's he's making bank off of Undertale. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be $60. I'm saying, um, I'm just saying that I wouldn't complain if it was because it's, it's real good. I don't think it will. I think it'll be like 30 bucks. Maybe 40 bucks. If Pappy is Gaster of this world and we get to see Gaster in his normal... Ooh. I'd love to see Gaster in his normal form. I mean, I just... I just want to know what's going on. <laughs> There's so much that's just being teased. It's like... Like, even the Papyrus stuff, where when you do the normal run... And Sans makes the comment about maybe it'll be two days, maybe it'll be three years. Oh, Gaster could be every man. I mean, maybe Gaster is everybody. Maybe we're all Gaster. It was it was Gaster all along. I mean, he was he was scattered through time and space, according to his his uh, henchmen. I don't remember what they're called in, in Undertale. One of them makes a comment about how he was scattered across time and space. I think... I think his followers mention him by name. Do they not? There's, there's followers in Undertale that you have a very slim chance of encountering. There's... There's a thing in the code of of Undertale that affects certain random events that happen, and you have a very small chance of encountering his henchmen. And I one of them makes a comment that 
I, I think they call him Gaster by name. Yeah, we don't know. We, we're guests. I know, like, the fandom has guessed that that weird sprite that was found, like, in the code that's, like, the skeleton or, like, the ghostly figure with the, like, cracked face is Gaster, but we don't we don't know that. That was never confirmed to be Gaster. You're off to work. I sure hope nobody gifts me stream loot while I'm gone. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> that would be terrible, Sleepy. We can't, we can't let anybody curse you with the burden of stream loot. That would be so horrible. <laughs> what would you do with that burden? I just don't know what you would do. I don't know if anyone could handle that burden. Uh, what could we do for the last the last hour and 15 minutes? Let's see what games I have loaded up. Ah, oh, for Sleepy, hell yeah. There you go, Sleepy. Oh, two packs for Sleepy. Wait, is that three? Is that three packs for Sleepy? One, two, three. Holy hamburgers. Endgamer is very generous. Let's get two more packs of Sleepy. Sleepy's rolling in the stream loop. There you go, Sleepy. Going oh, a free Chaos pack. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is horrible. Stop it. How could you do this? <laughs> okay, Endgamer's gonna get a chaos pack. I underscore put underscore you underscore do underscore sleep would like to offer a glizzy to everyone in the oh, chat. Oh, there's a, there's your nightly glizzy chat. There it is, right there, just dangling right in front of your face. On a string offered by the wonderful Sleepy, who wants you to have the most delicious glizzy. It's covered in marinara sauce because that's that's the true way to eat a glizzy. You just completely destroy it with marinara sauce. Another pack from Brady. There you go, Sleepy. There's another pack from Brady. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wanted to encourage people to use it. Uh, hang on, let me get, let me get my PS5 controller. And we can play, we can play some Sekiro. Did you not get the Chaos Pack? Let me double check if it went through. I underscore put underscore you underscore do underscore sleep wants to gift a pack of stream loot to, and gamer, Chaos, oh, yeah. if I can do that. You can you can do that. We'll allow that. Oh wait, was it two? Oh, I might have missed one. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm gonna move everything over here for you to switch over there. I underscore put underscore you right underscore do underscore sleep says good job. Oh, thank you, sleepy. There you go. Oh, there are two chaos packs. Okay, so it's, so it's gonna be two more chaos packs to end gamer. One from sleepy and one from a redeem. Oh, what is this card? <laughs> that's that's the Super Saiyan Creamin card. Cause um I have I had a, a certain fixation with that event in Dragon Ball when I was when I was a young boy. Oh, Sleepy's vibing, hell yeah. Let's uh I just gotta move everything over to here. There we go. You're cursed. Why are you cursed? Let's play, uh... Oh. I was playing Final Fantasy Online. Let's play some Sekiro. And Gamer97 wants you to roll the Chaos Light Dice. Okay. Uh, and if you don't know what the Chaos Light Dice is, it's this die right here. It's a six-sided die. And there's a list of the different things that each number represent on the Discord. Three! You got a three! Yeah, I gotta change it. You got a three! What does a three mean? Hang on, I gotta look. I don't have them all memorized yet. Uh... 
Uh, three is I'll name something after you. So let me write that down. That next time we have to name something, I will name it after you. Uh, oh, we're not actually playing Final Fantasy XIV. This just happened to be what was on when I turned the when I turned the switch on or the the PlayStation on. Um, let me make a note that the next time we have to name something, I'm gonna name it after you. Because that's what a three on the chaos dice uh, does. So, um, next time we play a game where I get to name a character, I'll be naming it after the wonderful Endgamer 97. That actually scared me. <laughs> I wasn't looking up and I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> I mean, we could we could play if you guys want to watch me run around and do side quests. We can play Final Fantasy fourteen. We can we can play Final Fantasy fourteen for the last hour. I've got I've got so many side quests to do. All right, we'll play it. We can play Final Fantasy fourteen. We can do that. I'm always trying to find more time to play Final. Oh, I do have to hang on. I gotta switch it off because I, uh, I gotta type my password in. Ooh. I'll show you my boy. No, oh, an error occurred. I think it's because I left it on sleep mode. Show you my boy Jay Chili and in, my in in game Jay Chili. Which is like the only character I've designed recently that actually looks like a normal human being. And not like some kind of monstrosity. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if mods can change the game, Sleepy. Turn, this game is very loud. Oh hell yeah! Let's here he is, my boy Jay Chili. Here he is with his big old shield and his big old sword. I'm a, a paladin. Paladin level forty six. Paladin, level 46. This is my boy. Yeah, Final Fantasy 14. Also known as Final Fantasy Online. Also known as the world is currently full. We've got to wait in the queue. Trixie, did you ever did you ever find out what server and what world you're in? Yeah, we're waiting. Oh, see that that face reminds me of the face in the TV in in Delta Rune. Oh, thank you, Trixie. This is the only the only character I've made that actually looks like a human being. Um, I'm just running around doing side quests and trying to finish, like, the base, the base story. Because I'm still in the, in all the Realm Reborn stuff. There we go. Yeah, you should definitely check and see if... You're in a, a compatible server. And I'm really excited. I got 
I forget, what did I name? Wait, can I see what I named my chocobo? I forget what I named my chocobo. It was something really dumb. Where is my chocobo? Frank. That's right, Frank the chocobo. <laughs> my boy Frank! Wait, can I change his appearance? Oh, you can get things for him. I don't have any things for him. How do I change his color? I want like a purple chocobo. Frank the chocobo! He's my boy. He's the he's the goodest of the chocobo. Look at him. Frank the chocobo, he's so majestic. I don't I don't have any fancy mounts yet. Just just Frank the chocobo. Well, do love the chocobo theme that plays, though. Mm. Oh, a bunch of equipment that's a lot worse than anything I have. Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm at level 47. Also, I don't, I don't, I don't read like anything in this game. <laughs> Most of the quests are like giant text dumps and I just skip everything. Where's that at? that over there? Oh, that's that place I can't freaking get to. This area over here is like closed off, but I have a quest over there. It's such a pain. Alright, we gotta go all oh, down here. Hey. Hey. Alright. Whoa! Look at this guy! I want... What is that? That freaking unicorn! I want a unicorn! How do I get? I want to look majestic riding on a unicorn. Oh, suddenly, suddenly Frank the Chocobo seems kind of lame. What? I've got this little Chocobo though. Vol Foos the cat has a freaking unicorn. Where's my unicorn, chat? When am I gonna get a unicorn? Let's go, Frank. I'm sad now. I want a unicorn. I'd take good care of a unicorn. I'd be a really good unicorn owner. I'd be the best unicorn owner. The best unicorn owner you've ever seen in all of your days of, of unicorn handling. Where am I going? What? Where is this? Oh, it's all the way down. Oh, it's all the way down there. I went the wrong way. I was, I was real. I was real angry about not having a unicorn, and I went the wrong way.
What is that up there? Looks like a giant gun pointed at space. I'm still real upset. I want, I want a freaking unicorn. I mean, Chocobo are cool and all, but they're not as cool as a unicorn that you can ride around. this person. Hello, there you are. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually better armor. Ooh. Oh, it's he that's because it's heavy armor. Never mind. Unending war. Here we go. To war. On the back of our loyal Chocobo steed. Frank. Frank the Chocobo. It's the best name for any Chocobo. Sir, please wait your turn. I'm taking care of your friend right now. Alright, now it's your turn. Yeah, that's right. And now you owe me one. He's only like three minutes from town. He could have just walked back. He could have made a run for it. Where is that? It's like up on the mountain. What do we got there? Oh, is it up here? Oh, it's up here. Come in here. No. Oh, it's up here. Oh, what's this place? This is fancy. It's a lot of steps, though. It'd be really tiring to have to walk up all these steps. Just to get to your study. And there's not even a railing. What if you trip? Imagine if you tripped going up these steps. You'd be straight fucked. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. We got a cutscene.
delete your character in Mateus, so you have to make a new one. Oh no, Trixie, I'm so sorry. Do you have another one that's in the in the same homeworld? Because we can, if it's in the same, not homeworld. If it's in if it's in the same like cluster, we can move between worlds. Hang on, let me get to a crystal and I can see what other worlds I'm able to travel to. Thank you, sir. I really like your wizard hat. It's really, I like your little your little sunglasses. They're actually my favorite. Hi, you got another quest for me? Cool. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna... Let's find out what happens. Can I make it? Oh. Here we go. Oh. We can... We can actually... YOLO! Fuck stairs when you can just jump. Yeah, Paladin's my main. That's the only thing I've really leveled up so far, uh, Rainmaker. This is my first time playing the game. Like, I don't... I don't have a ton of classes that I've worked on. I have a couple of them, up, like, unlocked. And I have, like, outfits for them. But they're all really low level. The only one I'm even... I'm even fairly leveled at right now is Paladin. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. I've been really enjoying it. I don't usually play this on stream. I don't know how crazy interesting it is to watch on stream. But, um, we we beat Pokemon and we we beat Delta Room tonight, so I'm kind of out of things to play for tonight. I didn't plan on beating two games tonight. Uh, Crystal. Oh, there's no Crystal here. Hang on, let me warp. Let me warp Trixie so we can see what other worlds I can travel to. I think I might actually have to do that from my from my home. I don't remember. Do you play this too, Rainmaker? And if so, what is your main? Yeah, so I can visit another world server um, as long as they're like in under the same cluster. So, Trixie, I can go to Balmung, Brynhildr, Kohler, uh, Diabolos, Goblin, Marlboro, or Z Zelaria. If you're on any of those servers, Trixie. You take breaks. I I play this, this usually on and off. Not for long periods of time. I've been playing for about six months now. We did. I had no idea what was going on because I've never done a raid. <laughs> it was very confusing for me. But yeah, I can go to all those worlds, Trixie. So if you're in one of those, I can come visit you. Bryn Hilder. I don't remember when I get a new thing for Paladin. I guess maybe it's at 50. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just go there. Bryn Hilder. Yeah, I can I can just go there. We're, we're going there right now, apparently. We're transporting. To another world! We're here. Look at all these people. Hey, people. You're in Cactar, so F in my free... Oh, your free login campaign expired. Oh. Oh, a lat... A lat Trueblood. I don't know who that is. Someone in our free company. Oh! What's going on here? Oh, there's beautiful dancing. I'm standing in the middle of their beautiful dance. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Let them go. Look at them. They're shooting off their magic. You're playing this game now too, Aaron. Hell yeah. We uh, we, we kind of beat two games tonight, and I ran out of things to do. 
<laughs> so here we are. This is this was an unplanned Final Fantasy XIV stream. Um, I I just jumped over to a different home world because I wanted to see if I could. Because Trixie also plays the wonderful Trixie B ninety three also plays, but does not have a character in Mateus. What uh what are you up to in the game, Aaron? Okay, so then I can go home. But yeah, if you have uh, a character in Bryn Hilder, Trixie, I can definitely come busy. I just hopped over there, so it's definitely definitely an option. Um, we're going to challenge log and leveling healer. Ooh. I'm still in the really early game, Aaron. I'm only at 47. I think I'm close to finishing the base set stuff, because I think level 50s like the, was the original max level, if I'm not wrong. So I think I'm getting close to finishing the Realm Reborn stuff. Where's that? And turn people's names out. Yeah, I think... I think I tried that once before, and I couldn't figure it out. I think Andrew might have tried to help me. Uh, or just HUD. I don't know. He might be under. Oh, system config. Oh, I think I did turn the names off, and I updated to the to the PS5 version of the game from the PS4 version, and it like lost all my settings. I even had to redo all my skills on my hotbar. I don't. I don't think. Honestly, I don't think it looks any different. It's got the 3D uh, vibration in the controller. So, like, when I'm riding on a chocobo, you get, like, the vibrations like you're actually bouncing on a chocobo. I honestly don't think the... I don't think graphically it looks any different, to be completely honest. I don't remember how to turn off the names. figure out I'll have to figure out oh wait is that you Aaron wait are you are you a lat trueborn I just said who's a lat oh it is you <laughs> hell yeah I just said it said a lat trueborn is online I was like who is that <laughs> it must be someone in our free company I don't know who that is <laughs> apparently that's you <laughs> I'm so sorry I had no idea that was your name in game I probably did the last time we played, and then I forgot all about it. <laughs> 50 was the max for a Realm Reborn. Yeah, I'm still on the, the base stuff, Raidmaker. I'm still really, really low, like, as far as progression goes. I don't have a ton done yet. I do want to eventually do the hunting log, because I'm not very far in it. Because that seems cool. But I haven't, like, gone out of my way to do any of this stuff yet. What am I missing? Oh, the bloated boggies. I wanted to do... It told me the other day that there was an event. And I was like, oh, how do I do the event? That sounds cool. And it told me I needed to be level 50. And I had to finish the base stuff. So I've been trying to finish the base stuff. So I could do the event. Let's see, do I have any... I think I have dances. Um, I'm 
pretty sure I've scrolled past them. Here we go, dances. I've got, oh, I've got the, I've got the, har the harvest dance is my favorite. This one's my favorite. I want to learn this dance IRL. <laughs> this is my goal right now. I want to learn how to do the harvest dance in real life. <laughs> I'll make a tick. Yes, it'll be the next big TikTok dance trend. It may already be. I don't know. <laughs> What other dances do I have? I don't think I have many. Well, I've got, I've got the um, the step dance. The step dance is solid too. Break it out at a party, <laughs> Trixie. Before I could break out a dance at a party, I gotta go to a party. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a wild party. Oh my god, is that? That looks like that looks like the bunny character from Five Nights at Freddy's. The new one that's in the new Five Nights at Freddy's game. I don't I don't know what, what their name is, but I know I saw a trailer and it had like a, a weird person in like a bunny costume. <laughs> I mainly mean, play this game for costumes and cool mounts, hell yeah. I only the only mount I have is Frank the Chocobo. Oh type orange, how you doing my friend? How are you, Type Orange? We've we've run out. I beat, I beat Pokemon our Pokemon Red Randomized playthrough, and I beat the secret boss in in Deltarune. So I've run out of things to do. So I'm I'm just messing around in Final Fantasy for the last 45 minutes before I wrap up. Oh, uh, really well. Look, at it. I got I've got fancy armor. I know how how to do it here. Let me show you the dance of my people, Type Orange. The Harvest Dance is the dance of my people. This is it. So, if you ever see anyone out in the wild doing this dance, Type Orange, just know that they're one of my people. Aaron's costume is, is, is spooky? Is that what you're saying is spooky, Trixie? It is. It makes me think of that character. I don't know who they... I've not, I've not yet played a Five Nights at Freddy's game. We're going to change that during Spooktober, though. Um... But there's, I remember watching the trailer for the one that's coming to PS5, and there's like a character that's like dressed in a rabbit costume that looks like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here, let me get this picture. Let me see if I can add. Oh, oh, that's not, that's just, I know Bonnie. I know the characters, like the base characters, but I don't know like all the extended characters. Maybe this is it? This might be it. Can I just like, grab this and save this? Yeah, 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 here we go. So wait, let's do like a side-by-side -side comparison. There. That's what that makes me think of. That's, that, that's, that's the costume that Aaron's wearing. <laughs> it looks just like that. Uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the the first Five Nights at Freddy's during the the 12 hour Halloween stream. It does look just like that. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, the pig! I love the pig. That's amazing. I love the pig. No, the, the, the pig is amazing. Wait, do you have another one that I'm going to hate? Because the pig is amazing. There's a frog one. I don't have any cool costumes. I've just got regular old armor. Oh, that's right. I can dress up. I can dress as Leon from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> that's, the, that's the closest I have to armor. Also, now I don't remember what, what, my, what armor I took off. <laughs> With this one, no. With that one, no. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, oh, it's this one. Is it that one? There we go. Uh, I don't know if that's it. Oh wait, I can just put it back on this way. There we go. Wait, I don't think that's. Do we have a better one. Type underscore yeah, orange underscore thinks you should jump five times just to be safe. Oh, yeah. Let's... One, two, 
three, four, five. Yeah, I love the pig. The pig costume's adorable. You thought I might not like the frog. Wait, I didn't see... Did you put the frog on, Aaron? I didn't see the frog. Where do you get these costumes? Where would one go to acquire a costume? Also, someone had a unicorn mount, and I really want it. <laughs> well, you don't have the frog. The gold... Oh, I forgot about the gold saucer. I haven't been doing... I haven't been doing my scratch tickets. The bunny was an event. Oh. Wait, I need to go to... I need to go to the gold saucer. Man, I'm going to the gold saucer. I haven't done my scratch cards in, like... Since the time that you showed me them, Aaron. <laughs> Months ago. Uh, travel. Map. Where is the gold saucer? Uh, this... I should have gone to the list. I don't know why I'm doing things the hard way. There's a list. There's a travel list. Teleport. Gold saucer. Yeah, I always forget to go there. I'm usually... The few times I play this, I'll turn this on for like an hour at a time. And I usually just run around and do some quests. And then stop. Uh, let me see if I remember. Oh, is it the... Wait, where's the counter? Over here. Was that, was that fast by comparison, Rainmaker? This is on the PS5. This is the PS5 upgrade for it. Yeah, the Cactar Broker. Give me those tickets. Yeah, give them to me. Again. Oh, I thought I can only do it two times. Oh. Do you get most of it through doing the little, the little competitions? I haven't done those since the last time either. I think it pops up and it's like, hey, this thing is happening. Fashion report. Choco Chocobo racing. <gasps> Chocobo racing sounds so cool. That takes me back to some Final Fantasy VII. Legit did not know you played it. I play once in a while, Ellie. I almost never play this on stream. I don't, honestly, I don't know that it's crazy fun for folks to watch, but um, we finished playing our Pokemon Red randomized playthrough today, and we finished the secret ending of Deltarune, so I kind of ran out of things to do for the last hour. Uh, Mateus is on Crystal. Yeah, what uh, what server are you in, Ellie? Or what home, I think they're called Home Worlds. Wait, the log helps. I... What, uh... What log, Rainmaker? I'm sorry, I'm still I'm still very new at all. Like, I haven't really touched a lot. I've done some of the hunting stuff. Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah, Ellie! Yeah, I'd definitely be down to, to play some... Um, I don't... If you want to send me your... Your information, I'll figure out how to add you to my to my friends. Oh, the challenge log, okay. Challenge log. Oh! 
complete three dungeons. Be a daily roulette. Finish complete five dungeons. I feel like I've done more than five dungeons before. We haven't done like any of this stuff. PvP. It's PvP? No wonder people can can like spend years playing this game, because there's so much stuff. I haven't even scratched the surface. Oh, the gold saucer. I can play three mini games. Since we successfully complete three gates. Oh, you're gonna hop on and add me now? Hell yeah, I'm uh, I'm just Jay Chili, but it's spelled out J-A-Y. And then Chili. So first name Jay, last name Chili. Playing for three years. That's how long ago was that? That I, there was a, a while back where I did a stream where uh, I played with Aaron and Steve. That was right around when I started playing. That was like maybe two or three weeks after I started playing. I don't remember how long ago that was. That was a while ago. I want to say at least six months ago. I have a very short attention span, so I'll play this on and off for a while, and then I'll forget about it, and then I'll remember it when I see the the charge on my bank account for Final Fantasy Online. I'm like, oh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should play that because I'm I'm spending money on it, and then I'll play it for a while, and then I'll forget about it again. You've been playing for a long time. Like, so, yeah, that's right. You guys have been playing since 1.0, which is wild. You get bored. I'm the same way. I'll play for a while, I'll get bored, and then eventually I'll come back. Hell yeah. I'm definitely down for some dungeon crawling. I'm not... I'd be more in Delhi. I, I, I'm still learning, so I don't know that I'm going to be the... <laughs> I'm going to be the best help, but I'm definitely down for some dungeon crawling. Whoa! Uh, Alright, uh, sir, I'm up here now. Don't ask what's in that crate, don't ask how I got up here, and we won't have any problems. Alright, see you later, bud. Oh, that's right, there's like a crane game. Where was that? I think it's down here. Is this it? What is this? Let's play a round of cuff occur. What? This guy's going down. Oh. oh, is this is this something that's in the in the challenge log for beating like getting a high score? Oh, we've got a friend request. What an asshole. Yeah, let me... I'm guessing that's Ellie. Let me, let me add you. What do I see? Oh, here, waiting approval. Accept friend request. There you go, I accepted. Oh, you have to get, like, perfect. You're not?
Oh, wait, or am I trying to get it in the middle? Oh, I was trying to get it, like, all the way at the top. I'm dumb. I'm trying to get it in the middle. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. Now I'm a professional. Oh, I got a thing. Was that in the challenge log? Challenge log. Gold saucer. Yeah, I can play three mini games. Wait, earn a hundred. Oh, okay, I can keep doing that. Oh, that gave me a bunch of. Oh shit, I've got a lot of stuff now. So I'm so glad that everybody's here for the stream where I just play carnival games for like 45 minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me while I punch this plastic figurine until it tells me that I got a, a challenge. Yeah, punch him. This is how I take out my frustration on things. Oh, I got it already. Oops. Oh, I got it. I did it. Two Domen Mojang players. Complete three gates. So wait, do all? Do the regular? Oh, the regular ones give you money, but the gold saucer ones give you the the Jim Jam medals. How do I... I want to go see what I can buy with the Jim Jam medals. What's going on over here? Are these, are these people? I don't know. I think they're NPCs. They don't have names. Definitely gonna figure out how to turn the names off. Oh, this is the this is the other game. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Well, oh, you're re-downloading it. Hell yeah, Trixie. Hell yeah. I'm so excited. You're gonna come find me. Hell yeah, I'm going to the prize counter. I think. So if I'm not where I was before, I'm going to the prize counter. Is this the prize counter? I think so. Look at all these freaking names. How do I... I gotta figure out how to turn these names off. Is this... Well, maybe it's character... Oh, I bet it's character configuration. Display. Hey, watermelon guy, what's wrong? Look down. Hey! Wait, what am I looking down at? <laughs> oh, the next one down. I was like, what am I looking down at? And I thought I was going to close the menu and you are going to be standing there. And then I saw my little guy and I thought you were one of the... Um, what are the, the, little, the little characters? I can't think of their name. Uh, I was in the main, I was in the right spot though. Display name settings. Yes. Display name setting. Uh, 
When targeted. Apply. No. That didn't do it. Oh, wait, I'm in own. I want to change. Okay. Alliance members. Other player characters. Win targeted. Apply. for some people. Oh, wait, really, are these NPCs? It's a lot better, at least. But it's definitely not everybody. It's better, it's a lot less. Your entire hand just snapped like the bone. Are you okay, watermelon guy? Wait, is that is that you, Ellie? Yeah, that's you. Hell yeah. Wait, here, let me let me show you the let me show you the dance of my people, Ellie. This is the dance of my people. Yeah, my name's Jay in game. Jay Jay Chili. This is the dance of my people, Ellie. So if you're ever out and about in the world. Either IRL or in game. If anyone does the dance, just know. Oh. Type Frozen underscore orange underscore wants you to freeze for one minute. It's a good thing I'm 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 in the middle of dancing, so we've got a minute of wonderful dancing ahead of us, because I've got to freeze for one minute. To 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 honor the wonderful type orange. You just you just can't move it. That doesn't that doesn't sound okay, Watermelon. I mean I'm no doctor, but that doesn't sound okay. <laughs> I'm a prize trick. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Trixie. But I appreciate that very much. Uh, we've got we've got another 25 seconds of dancing, Ellie. This this dance is for you, Type Orange. This this is going right out to you, right into your heart. Shooting shooting this dance right into your heart, your heart of hearts. Oh, look at that glizzy heart. Also, and I mentioned this earlier, let me just say, Lily has done the um, the sketches for the uh, independent arms mender. No, where's the prizes? Um, Lily showed me the art for the emotes that she's working on for, ha for Spooktober. And oh my god, they look so freaking good. I am so excited to... No, that's not him. I'm so excited for you guys to have them next week. Prizes, here we go. Uh, armor. Oh, wait, is this it? Bunny Chief Bustier. Um, I don't think that's what I want. Oh. I mean, maybe I do. You, s you smacked it with a wood board. Oh no, watermelon guy, I'm so sorry. Oh, here we go, the pig. Oh, I need, oh, I need a lot more points. Yeah, spooky season. It's right around the corner. A week today, we'll be playing horror games. Oh, the bo oh, the body's 120,000. Who those goggers? Goggles are cool, though. Whoa. That's so freaking cool. Those are so expensive, Aaron. You not know, feeling the best, so you're going to head to bed. I hope you have a fantastic night, Aaron. I hope you get a fantastic night's sleep. I'm so sorry to hear you're not feeling well, but I hope you start feeling better after you get a good night's sleep. And definitely, I am uh, i don't play this on stream too often, but I'm on here a lot, um, on and off, usually before and after stream. So if you ever see me on and you're up to anything that you need help with or you just want to hang out in game, just let me know. Ooh, what's all this stuff? <gasps> I can buy... Oh, I can buy creatures! The heavy hatchling! I want the heavy hatchling. 
the piggy. So cute. What are these? Chocobo armor design. <gasps> oh no. Have a fantastic evening, Aaron. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. You're always on unless you're streaming. Ooh, okay. I don't, I will admit, I don't come on here nearly that often. Um, I pop on once in a while. Like, I was on for maybe about an hour this afternoon before I had dinner and started the stream. Fashion Report, you will be your best friend. 60k every weekend. Well, wait, what is Fashion Report, Rainmaker? Also, I'm sorry, Ellie. I didn't mean to just run away. <laughs> I don't know if you're still, still here, Ellie. I just kind of ran away to go to the prize counter. <laughs> Oh, I really like the, I, I kind of, I went with like the boring, normal human character, and then I saw like Steve and all of, well, Aaron doesn't, but I know like Steve and Juniper and a lot of the other folks in our free company play as the, 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 the laugh, 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 laughles. Uh, oh, give me one sec, Rainmaker, I'll make you a VIP, and then you can post links in the chat. Because I have it set that only VIPs can post links. So let me make you a VIP real quick. Type underscore orange underscore thinks you should hold down the run button for the next minute just to be safe. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm making Rainmaker a VIP. There you go, Rainmaker. You're a VIP now, so you should be able to post a link in chat. Uh, run button for the next minute. Uh, I, I can only, I can only run once every minute. I mean, I'll do laps around here. People will think I'm crazy. I don't care. Because I am. <laughs> I, uh, I did figure out how to dye my armor. So I don't look like a homeless person with, like, multiple colored armor. Uh, oh, it's just exclamation point loop, watermelon guy. You don't need the stream part. Right, I will as soon as I as soon as those last three mi seconds go down, I'll click that link. Fashion report, full details for the week. Hey, Ellie, Ellie's back. Let's see, fashion report. Oh, the picture. Ooh, new desk. One more. Uh, data center can accomplish. Oh no, that's an ad. D ignore that. That's an ad. So I, I do. I need these. General information: The fashion report is a mini game in the gold saucer where each week you are given hints by the NPC masked rose to wear pieces of gear in specific slots. The fit the, oh, if you're successful, you can gain uh, MGP achievements, a title, and lock items sold by the NPC Kasumi. Two weekly threads on the Final Fantasy, ooh, on the subreddit. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna look at this in more detail after I wrap up. I'm actually saving that picture. I'm gonna look at that in more detail later. Whoa, look at all this. Whoa, look at all that. Holy crap. You've got some cool stuff, Ellie. I've got exactly what you see. Oh, I could also... I also have a shirt. I've got a shirt that lets me be... Um... Leon. Or Squall from... I always call him Leon because of Kingdom Hearts. I can be Squall from... From Final Fantasy VIII. I think I may also have the pants, but I'm not 100% sure. I may have put... Oh, no, there they are. Yeah, see, now I'm, I'm squall. I'm cool. I'm edgy. I don't have a gun blade, though. That'd be cool. Are there gun blades in this? Cooper says, easy 80 points. Let's see, easy 80 points. Easy 80 points, any dyeable headpiece, any gray dye, and the best man's jacket. 
Where would one get the best man? Watermelon guy 420 wants emotes only oh, chat emotes for the only. next five minutes. Hell yeah, and emotes for the next. Oh fuck, I forgot it was for five minutes. All right, emotes only chat. VIPs can break emotes only chat though. So, um, Ulda, you're a healer man. Oh hell yeah. Oh Gunbreaker is a tank class. I don't. I'm probably not a high enough level yet, Ellie. Um, because I'm only level 47. I forgot I made one for five minutes of emotes only chat. All right, let's see some emotes. <laughs> uh, Ellie, do you want to do like? Is there, is there like a? Also, VIPs can break emotes only chat. So uh, I'm not saying that you should. I'm just saying that it's a possibility. <laughs> What's that one? That's a bread, a piece of a loaf of bread with a banana. I love that. Oh, actually, I don't know if I have time to do it. I only have 15 minutes left before I have to wrap up tonight. So I don't I don't know that I'm going to have time to do a dungeon tonight, Ellie. Because I think, I don't know if we're, if the Beardy Bunch are doing anything tonight. Because I know we said we wanted to still, even though we're doing the podcasts on, um, during the Beardy Bunch plays, um, we're still keeping this as, like, a, a slot where if we have to get anything done. Oh, I like those, Watermelon Guy. Those are really cool. And <laughs> cutie, I love those, Trixie. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, Ellie. We can definitely do one another time. Um, yeah, anytime. Like, if you're ever doing like a, if you're ever doing anything, and you're in the game. Um, just let me know. But yeah, we definitely could. Oh no, look at those watermelon guy. Oh no. Is that- that's not the girl from Psycho no Sato Satoko? That's not supposed to be her, is it? That looks like the girl from that game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you off with the- with the dance- the dance of my people. Oh, I love the Abby ones. Uh, someone played a card for five minutes of emotes only, Sleepy. So we're getting all the best. Oh, Ellie knows, Ellie knows the dance of my people. <laughs> it's the it's the goofiest dance I have ever seen. I have never seen a dance like this. What does change pose do? Oh, look at those Snorlaxes. Oh, I love those Snorlaxes. Yes, for a new walk on. Okay, I'll go prove. Because I actually already have it open. Oh, a lot of people have asked for new walk ons. Uh, Commander Keen, I don't think you're here, but you got your new walk on. Trixie, you got your new walk on. Type Orange, you got your walk on. Type Orange, you got a second walk on. Sleepy, you got your new walk on. Sorry, I haven't approved walk ons in a while. Alright, um. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, we can go. We can go. Keep running around doing these quests because I kind of want to get past the base game stuff so I can start doing other stuff. So we'll here. We'll go here. Oh, I love the bee. The bees always make me think of. Um, can you see? He's the man. Let me hear you applaud. He is more than a man. He's a shiny golden god. It's true. It's true. I, when I think of the Shining Golden God, though, I think of I think of Martian, Martian Legend God King. Oh, is that who? Was that Jack Black? I didn't even realize that was Jack Black. I'm so sorry, Sleepy. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get my Chocobo, Frank the Chocobo. Not as cool as a unicorn, but you know sometimes we can't all have the things that we want. I've learned this the hard way. I'm gonna Google how to get the freaking unicorn now. And find out if it's something I can do. It probably costs money. How much you wanna bet it costs money? What? Oh! He's got like a dragon! I just have Frank the Chocobo. I want a cool mount. <laughs> Who's that guy? Who are they fighting? They're fighting someone over there. They're fighting that guy. Well, maybe I'll, I'll go help him. No, I'm coming. Don't worry, I'll help you. I'll help you. Hang on, I'm in the wrong menu. I'm helping. I'm totally helping. Why am I not attacking? Wait, it won't let me. Oh, am I too high level? 
Oh, uh, sorry, I can't help. I'm too high level. I'm too good to help you guys. Also, he wants so many chits over. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Emotes only chats over. <laughs> cracker jacks are not as good as I remember. Oh, like the the food cracker jacks. I don't remember the last time I had cracker jacks. Oh, I could have level sync to help. Oh, um, sorry everybody. This is this is real awkward. I'm sorry. I know I ran in like I was gonna help, and then I immediately left. I'm real. I'm real sorry. Yeah, absolutely you could still do emotes only. You can do emotes all you want. I'm always good with seeing some some cool emotes. It's a conjurer quest mount. Oh, so there are other mounts that you can get through like story stuff or through like regular quest lines. Cool, very cool. I was concerned that all the all the mounts were going to be like things that you have to buy, like buy with actual money. We saved him. We found the mistake the missing astrologian. That makes me think of Acnologia from uh, Fairy Tale. That was the dragon. It was like Acnologia or something. Farm mounts from Extreme Trials. Ooh, Extreme Trials. Oh. I wanna, wait, that's a different unit. There is a giant, so this is the regular, excuse me, don't mind me, sir, I'm just following you to watch your unicorn. There is a giant unicorn, but I like that unicorn, too. Is that the one you were talking about, Ellie? Don't mind me, sir. Don't mind me, oh, it's gone. <laughs> that's super awkward, he's like, why is this guy following me? <laughs> Please, sir, leave me alone. <laughs> I've got a. I've, there's already. Sleepy, there's already an 800 point redemption to get, gift Sleepy's stream loots. It's called Gift. Gift another user a stream loot pack. <laughs> hey, God Crucix, how you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. How are you? Um, just a gift you exclusively? No. Because <laughs> then everybody will want one. I can't have a redemption for everybody to get stream loot. <laughs> Are they really? That's so cool, Ellie. I kind of wish I made one of the little, the little Lawfell, Lawfella, Lawfell. Lawfell? Makes me think of waffle when I say it. Um, wait, where am I going? It's down here. Wait, no, God no, God no, what? <laughs> what happened to any mate rainmaker? <laughs> <laughs> Lala's deserve to be burnt. No, we have a bunch of friends that are Lala's. Our dear friend Steve Fantasy, who's another amazing streamer, is a, is a Lala. And they're freaking adorable. I went on, I went and did a dungeon with them once, and I was the only regular sized person, and it was the funniest thing. Oh, pack for Sleepy, hell yeah. Uh, stream loot, where are you? There you are. I put you to sleep. There you go. You have a pack headed your way. Wait, two? Were there two packs? I saw one. Oh, there is a second one. I'm sorry. I missed it. I was distracted. I'm very sorry. You got a second one coming your way. Uh, okay, where is this quest marker? Oh, it's down here. Wait. Where is that? I was in this building. Oh. Get out of here, Frank! It's in that building, I think. Where is it? Oh, no, it's around here. It's behind the building. No. It's up here. Oh, it's in the tower. <laughs> Be nice to Frank! <laughs> I was nice to Frank until I, I saw the cool unicorn and I decided I wanted a better mount. <laughs> I 
Oh, you only have 422 points left. That's okay, watermelon guy. You'll get more. There'll be tons of opportunities to get points. Just think. A week tomorrow, we're going to be having a 12-hour stream. Think of all those points you can get if you hang out during a 12-hour stream. Stream loot packs for all! Hell yeah! Thank you, Ellie. Let's get stream loot packs for all. Everybody gets a stream loot pack. You get a stream loot pack. You get a stream loot pack. I gotta delete a coupon first. Hang on. And then, starting next Friday, a week today, there'll be free stream loots every day. There'll be free stream loots every day. Alright, click that link. Get yourself a free pack of stream loot. Oh no, I would never I would never let Frank meet the same fate as Larry. I would never. I'm innocent. I had nothing to do with that. That was that that absolute fiend, Billy Rids. I don't know if I can survive all the way to the bottom. Oh I can. With one HP. <laughs> it's fine. I survived. Yeah, I do. I do have the greens. I have them on my hot bar there. Type underscore orange underscore wants Ooh. you to roll the chaos light dice. Okay, nobody's gotten the nobody's gotten the the actual. Oh, that's a three, which we uh, end gamer also rolled a three, um, which means I've got to name something after you. Type orange. I underscore put underscore you underscore do underscore Glizzy sleep shoes. says. Tell us about Glizzy shoes. Glizzy shoes. Oh, that's that's the peak of fashion right now. And all Glizzy shoes are is you take you take a hot dog and you cut it into little sections and you stick them on your on your toes. You like stick the hot dogs on the end of each toe and then those are your Glizzy shoes. Yeah. I underscore put underscore you underscore do underscore free sleep pack. redeem the free stream. Yeah. Pack. So I I made a note of it, Type Orange. The next time I na have to name something on stream, it'll be well. The next time will be End Gamer because End Gamer rolled it first, and then the next time after that'll be you. So I have to name something in game after you. The next time we play a game where I can name stuff. Sleepy. There you go. You got a pack headed your way, Sleepy. Um, so the chaos dice is so there's two dice. I have I have a six side dice and then a twenty side like a D twenty. Um, and there's a list in Discord in the stream loot resources that lists what each roll like each number. Um, so the Chaos and Light dice is only six-sided, so you can only get one through six. Um, so one is a Hydrate, two is Sunglasses, three is I'll name something after you, which is what you got, Type Orange. Four is a Dad Joke, five is a free stream loot pack, and then if you roll a six, you get timed out for three minutes. So it's a risk. Uh, and then there's a bunch of stuff. There's another card in there to roll the regular Chaos dice, which is the 20-sided dice. You didn't get a pack sent to you. Let me double check. Let's see. Uh, when when were you supposed to get a pack? Was it for the stream loots for all? There's a link to click for that watermelon guy. It's actually this link right here. You just click that link and you'll automatically get it when you click that link. I don't manually send them. There's a, a coupon code for when we do stream loots for all. Yeah, I do have the. I think I started to say this. I do have the the Geishol, Geishol greens. Um, I use them once in a while. I don't use them like if I'm fight if I'm in an area where I'm fighting things that are actually at my level, I'll use them. But if I'm just almost everything seems like it's lower level than me right now, so I don't use them a ton. In here. Oh, there we go. Hey, how you doing? Don't mind me, I'm just letting myself in. Ooh, oh, all this armor is weaker than anything I have. Thank you, though, I appreciate it. I'm sure it, it probably gets on someone's nerves I don't really read all the story dialogue. I underscore put underscore you underscore Ooh, to underscore sleep Hell redeem yeah. the free stream loot pack. Hell yeah, sleepy. There you go, sleepy. I underscore put underscore you underscore you to underscore that. sleep wasn't expecting that. You weren't expecting that. All right. Um, I'm going to have to wrap up here for tonight. 
So this is where we're going to end this evening. This was a crazy stream. Hang on, I'm going to go over and just chatting. This was wild. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that almost seem, makes it seem like you're glad we're ending, watermelon guy. <laughs> Did you move your hand? Oh, I'm really glad. I was, I was genuinely concerned when you said you couldn't move your hand, because that's not really something to mess around with. Raid Dad? Hell yeah, we could Raid Dad. We can absolutely Raid Dad. I don't know if he's wrapping up soon. I don't know if we're doing anything Beauty Bunch-wise tonight. Community Night? Yeah, we can definitely Raid Dad. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you so much, Ellie. Yeah, tonight was tonight was, was a crazy, crazy stream. We beat, we beat the Elite Four on the first try um, in our Red Randomized playthrough. Um, then we beat that, that crazy optional boss in, in Deltarune really quickly so we had nothing i was gonna play sekiro but um there seemed like an interest in final fantasy 14 because that was what was up when i turned my playstation on so um <laughs> this was wild we went we went some crazy places tonight uh tomorrow is going to be exciting because tomorrow we're going to be playing the the new diablo 2 remaster with the wonderful the amazing empress lily um lily's very fluent in Diablo. I know very little about Diablo, so I'm sure it's going to be an interesting experience. Who is that? Oh, that's ATM Zero. I ATM Zero's dead. I underscore you oh, underscore oh, you underscore sleep says, thank you, you look thirsty. Time to hydrate. Thank you. I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any why. I got orange soda. I got orange soda. That's my beverage of choice. What else was I going to say? Uh, tomorrow, Diablo 2. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Digimon. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Uh, Monday is Beardy Bunch Plays. And then Sekiro. And then Tuesday is Drunk. Drunk Night. Drunk Night. And I already have, I already have the goods here. We got the goods here. We're going to be drinking and playing Hollow Knight. We got the... Oh, the next drunk stream is on Tuesday, Trixie. I got the goods. They're here. I expect to go through this whole bottle. Um, Tuesday is Drunk Night, K-N-I-G-H-T, because we're going to be playing Hollow Knight. Um, yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday, 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 uh, which it'll be the, the big final push for the subathon. I will be drinking and toasting any and all subs, as well as drinking every time I die. Um, so we can make that final push to get the last nine subs to get the Beardy Bunch choice event where the Beardy Bunch, ATM Zero, and Billy Rids, those those amazing individuals, will choose something that I'll have to do on stream. So who knows what it'll be. I don't know what it'll be. I don't think they have decided what it'll be yet. But uh, Plants vs. Zombies is going to happen on, I think, Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday. I, it's, on the, it's on the schedule now, Watermelon Guy. Um, there's a day next week where I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies and Spore to try and uh, finish out some games that we've started before we jump into the Spooktober stuff. I can't remember if it's Wednesday or Thursday. I want to say Wednesday. I think Wednesday is going to be. Oh, hell yeah, Trixie. I think I think Kay said that they're going to join in drinking too, so <laughs> we're all going to be we're all going to be drinking. Granny Chili might come out. It's it's gonna be a wild time. Uh, I freaking love Hollow Knight. It's a tough game though, so I expect I'll probably die a lot. Um, so it's it's gonna be a really wild time. I I don't think you are in sleepy, <laughs> but you'll be in as in you can hang out with us. You can do that. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, well, you're 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 four, fourteen, fifteen, which you you tell us all the time. <laughs> Which means I cannot encourage that behavior, Sleepy. I cannot encourage that. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're going to raid Dad. Um, but we'll be back tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, with Lily. We're going to be here with the, the wonderful Empress Lily, who I always have fun. We're going to, yep, we're going to rad... We're going to rad... We're going to rad Dad. Let's rad Dad. <laughs> Well, it won't be a dad raid, because it'll be a glizzy raid. Glizzy raid moving in on dad's territory. 
Yeah, I, I like to, well, I mean, I'm, I'm very talkative as is. I have to, every night I have to force myself to hit that, the enter button to start the raid countdown. Or I'll just keep talking. I, I'll just keep talking. <laughs> dad rad! <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Type dad rad, type busy raid, spam some, some hot dog emotes. Yeah, what? Oh, I, I can't encourage that either, watermelon guy. <laughs> Depending on where you live, I don't, I don't. Are you in the U.S., watermelon guy? Are there states? There's, con I know there's certain countries where it's 18. I don't know about states. Are there any states where the legal drinking age is 18? Not as far as I know. I know there's certain countries that are. In fact, I think Australia. Oh, is Alabama? Oh, oh, of course Alabama is. Of course. Of freaking course. <laughs> Alright, let's start the raid countdown to the wonderful ATM Zero to our dear Twitch father. Um, I don't know what's going on over there. We're going to find out, though. We're going to find out. If I had to guess, I'd say it's Golf with Friends because I saw Jinto's playing Golf with Friends. Um, so there's a good chance that it's Golf with Friends. So let's head on over. Oh, you're in the UK. I believe the UK is 18, so you can definitely join us then, Watermelon Guy. If Unless it's not 18, then I take back everything I just said. <laughs> let's head on over to ATM Zero's channel. Let's hit him up with either a Glizzy Raid or a, a Dad Rad. Rad Dad, Dad Rad. Wh whichever of the variant you want to do. Spam some Glizzy emotes. If you got those emotes, if you're subbed or you've gotten one of the, like, 50 gift subs this month um use those emotes spam them spam them all over just blow dad's chat up with with hot dogs he loves it he'll love it I, i'm telling you anyway i will see you guys over there <laughs> i'll see you guys over there and um i'll see you tomorrow for some diablo have a fantastic night everyone enjoy the start of your weekend see you later everybody